Hi everyone, Pat Ice there. Welcome to Friday Night Live at the Ben Show. So, hopefully here tonight with our full show. It appears to be sharing at work for me then anyway. So, hopefully we'll be able to get through everything we need to get through tonight, which includes Tim's latest kit releases, which should work. We've got a couple of giveaways, which I'll talk about in a minute. And more importantly, Dan's had his computer fixed. So, it's exciting. It's a magic evening. It's ma magic, magical, and hopefully uh, we're, we're all going to have to do a, like a Yuri. Remember when Yuri Garibald was fixed the watches and bent the spoons on Good Morning Years ago? I don't remember that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sit there and yeah, yeah. it to work. That's what we're going to have to do. Yeah, so, it, finger it, crossed, it seems to be working. Yeah, that's shared for me then, so hopefully it will we work. Can, we can see Dan's um, beautiful face. That's amazing. Oh, well, it's a face. Yes. Well, yeah. Yeah. And we've got John, John in uh, supervision as well tonight. Supervision? Well, it's, it's vision. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you brought some Vaseline on it. Whether it's super is debatable. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so we've got Tim's section, Dan's section, what we've been buying, um, two giveaways. Sam's very kindly donated a £25 UMP gift voucher, and Luke has donated a... Tamiya 24 scale Mitsubishi Evo 6 row car, if I remember right? Oh which is fantastic. Such a little Dan darling. Huh? Such a little darling. He is, isn't he? Yeah. Lovely. Um, he's even trimmed his head and his beard for us again. Oh, I thought he looks a bit more bald today. Mm, a bit more bald. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and we've also got a goodie bag to give away in Dan's section as well for the favourite build of the week. So, yes, hopefully it'll work. With us tonight, we have got, let me get everyone on screen. We've got Sam. We've got Luke, a, a bearded rifle model works. Uh, we've got John Sharp. We've got Al. We've got Dan. We've got Norman. Timmy. And me, who's been demoted to not even a real modeler. Well, oh, no. <laughs> you know your position in life. I knew it was now, though. Oh, he, did it. he gave himself a way to will on the critique group. Oh, it was the guy that left because I didn't like his political talk. Oh. It, it was him, apparently. Oh, what a shame! Oh. So he, he went and had to go at me on a five year old video. As you, As you do, oh, really knows where to hurt me. <laughs> um, right in the jibber jabber. So, if you're watching, hello, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, uh, have you had a good week? Yeah, pretty much the same. I think it's all around. Yeah, um, good. Everyone in the chat, a good week. I can just hear groans now. Just wait for yeah, check in, check in, check in. Um, so yeah, um, you got any questions or comments? Pop them in the chat. Uh, if we missed them, just pop them back in and we'll get to them as when we can. And um, that's it, really. Not much else to say. Anyone else anything we need to talk about? Just mad. Charming, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, real stuff, I know. <laughs> uh, don't think so. No? Yeah, John no. didn't full HD. Well, he was. I think he's lagged out a touch now. No. And the connection's sapping a bit. And uh, Brian's still here to you, mate. Yeah. That's weird. No problem, Brian. Can I just say a big thanks to Mike Tynan, and Paul, before we start? Yeah. Dave Doggy. Because these guys are real modelers, not those Warhammer lot. And you kidding? Oh, yeah, I'm working on a Warhammer kit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got a point then. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a real modeler. I'm a fish keeper. Hey, Brian. Take care. Hmm. Good night. Um, so, yeah, that's it. So hopefully, everything's going to work tonight. We go through smoothly. Um, and that's it. Should we uh, read the chat? We can do. Tim, you want to start off? No, 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 no. I'm going to start off. I haven't read it for a while. I've been doing slides, so I'm a bit on the out. Okie dokie. This is unacceptable. No. I reckon we need to vote. Should we find Tim? Definitely. Yeah. Wow, three people threw the bus straight away. I was really messing as well. He's right, Chris Barber says hello. Bill's there, Sergeant Bone. Hey, everybody. He's happy Friday. Uh, this is live in eight hours. That's because I clicked the wrong button, Bill, and I went back and edited it. Uh, through the poo says happy Friday, all. Hi to the crew. 
Uh, Richie Lamb says, good evening, fellow Tet Sniffers and artist of Styrene. Sharpie's there saying hello. Kev's there, Jeff Jackson. Hello, everyone. Happy Friday. Norman's there. Um, must be watching a different show. Apparently, it's Fun Pack. Kev's Vickers says, evening. Uh-oh. Where did that come from? I have no idea. Um, Bob Bomb says, Waho folks. Hello. Hello. Uh, Drew One says, hi, everyone, and happy building. Um, Jeff Jaff's doing things. Oh. Uh, Naked Mother says, good evening, everyone. Uh, Steve says, hello, all pasta fanatics from Southport. And a good evening to Paul and the Sprue Crew. Uh, but, uh, about Ouija's and stuff, mini Ouija. Yeah. Uh, oh, hang on, let me put some of your time of accident. <laughs> Malcolm Plums, good evening, everyone. John Stones, as in Greek, says the plastic, hey, banana man. And the sprue crew, oh. Norman, come and suck on my banana. <laughs> yeah. bit, bit much, that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think he needs a different hangout for that one. Good, doing. Yeah. I'm gonna be here yeah. at nine o'clock. Uh, Mark, you all happy weekend. Steve says we're jitty babe this week. Don't know. Hope so. Mike Crinan says evening, folks. Hope you're all well. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. Um, hey, Mike. And last one I'll read is God, Tony. We stop rabbiting on the chat. <laughs> is Yari saying good evening? All. I'm gonna hand you over to Luke. Oh. You can read some of your mate. Go for, knock yeah, go, I'll go for it, mate. Hold on a second. Where did you get to? Uh, Yari T at 7.26. Uh, I wasn't really joking, man. I love no, it. Hey, right hey, what? <laughs> uh, yeah, 19.26. Call me right off guard, there. You are. I know I did. That's right, did it? <laughs> <laughs> I you were busy enough for oh, I mean. Last comment I heard was about a banana. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, Tony saying yes, no, I know you're fine. And Yari T saying good evening, all. So you're on to Marcus Brown. Amazing what you listen to there. Mark, ah, there we go. So Marcus Brown is says hi. Uh, go on, John, you can take over now. No, we <laughs> <joking. laughs> <laughs> uh, Mark's asking, can anyone help with our club problems? Possibly. Depends what the problem is. If it's happening, uh, don't shake it. Uh, <laughs> Jane, uh, greetings from Soggy Sterling Heights in Michigan. Sorry, what was your name? I missed that. Uh, uh, so, Dienzil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's as close as I would have got. Yeah, that's as good as it's going to get. Good enough. Um, Wendy, good evening to you all. Good evening, Hello. Wendy. Hello, Wendy. Hello. Daryl saying it's Friday again. Good evening, all. Yeah, Hello. comes right quick. Uh, it's Matt saying, Hello, everyone. How are we all doing? We're all doing hey, good. Matt. Hey, Matt. Hello, Matt. Uh, hi, normal evening, guys and girls. So, what's Martin? Martin. Yeah. Yeah. yeah um... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> just an afternoon, everyone. So oh. I'm guessing he's behind us. Uh, anyone used bon uh, Sorry, Grumpy, whoever that is. Anyone used Bondic plastic as a clear filler? Bondic? No. Bondic. Never heard. Bondic UV glue? I've never heard. Very well, it doesn't dry properly, does it? Mm. That only dries where you can get the UV to it, so... Yeah, the gap's not going to be very good, is it? Right. Right. Mm. Uh, Tony's turning down his monitor resolution. <laughs> no idea. Uh, Willie Mac, evening all. Hi. Hey, Willie. Hey, Willie. Don't see that. You don't need to see that. Hey, uh, James four four one zero, evening all. Hello, James. Hello, James. That's a new name. I think. A new one, isn't it? Hello, James. Yep. Hello, new James. Hello. Let us know where you're from, James. Yeah, and your and your real name. Plan it up. <laughs> Just in case we go. Derek. Yeah, Derek. Hi. Yeah, Sharp is saying his bench is now in shop, which is playing havoc with my OCD. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're glad it's not angled down anymore. Yeah, he hasn't got any pants on. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Uh, Richard Payne's mother, which is Mike. No, uh, from, from Mike. From Mike. No, from Mike. 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 I'm guessing that's his name, but he spells it different. In uh, Rainy Lichtenstein. Oh, yeah. I thought Mike was a place. That's what I read it as from Mike in Lichtenstein. Uh, I think. Yeah, I think you're right. It's just him butchered the pronunciation and called him Mike. There's a place called Meek just over the just before you cross the border down south. Okay. Uh, Scale Adventures. Hi everyone. Oh. Sharpie saying that bench is tidy for him. Okay. <laughs> Glasto Billy, evening all from a less than moist Oxford. <laughs> okay. Moist, isn't it? Yeah, it's horrible. It's Same gusset. It's nearly about as gusset. Yeah, don't combine the two. I'm sure um, you've seen a lot of moist, haven't you? Move on, carry on. <laughs> carry on. Uh, Willie Steve, good evening all. Hello. Steve, Chris Kinney, howdy folks. Moist. Uh, <laughs> Mark saying get the boots out, Dan. Tim's off, what? Hey, me. Hey, hey, me, because in the chat, Hoyle. Hey, me, you know. Hey. Gav Wilcox, evening to you all. We can go. Mm. Simon P, good evening all. Hope you all had a great week. Mm. Great is probably stretching it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Loving it. Good uh, week. Yeah. Most of us settle for passable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is loving your bike, Bill Paul. Thank you. Cool. Um, uh, well, that's uh, uh, It's all right. It's done right. Uh, Ian, good evening, folks. Shadowland Scale Models. Evening, gents. Hello. Hello. Dave, Hello. Dave Dog. Hey. But spelled D O G G E. Maybe like they are. I'm not sure. Maybe <laughs> they are. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. <laughs> Brug. Doggy Dave. Dave I'll make yeah. Brug. Uh, hey, up. Evening, Dave. Uh, VR46 Scale Models. Evening, folks. Hey, Bjorn. Hey, Bjorn. Um, Brian's shouting at you, Paul. Oh, no. uh, Always. Dave the Dugger has said. <laughs> <laughs> the, <laughs> that wasn't me. Uh, <laughs> these guys are real. Oh, it's not those Warhammer lot. Have I already read? We already read yeah, that. Yeah, we, we, I touched on that earlier. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> that was that a bit of a there, there, Cream. Dave the Dugger. <laughs> Dave the Dugger got touched on earlier. Yes. <laughs> uh, school food in there. Hey, Jace. Uh, built me a. Oh, oh um, Martin saying, Al, I built me a Kitty Hawk Sea Sprite. Yep. You don't need the lighter. I thought he was thinking out Shack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like that reputation. I do that to it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Gaz is saying the only real model here is Norm, the Rebox King. Oh. Really 82 Don't know who that is. Uh, all the guys, how do? Say your real name. The Rebox King. Uh, uh, Mark Ward, hi to all. And Matt D. What's up from Space Coast, Florida? Excellent. Right. Norman's taking a bow. <laughs> uh, Stuart Scale Models, good evening all. Moved on with WoW with the USS Dallas. All base coats and ready for detail painting. The Panzer II is all built and picked up the full checks today. Hi, right. Stuart. Cool. Hey, get Hi, some Stuart. burning and fruit. Hi, Stuart. Right, quick, here we go. Dave dog <laughs> i've got a question what Thanks. are the ways you control a wash so not to us to leave those large coffee stains of the wash where you don't want it to go wash. don't let it pool yeah. Yeah. yeah don't let it pool make sure you clear coat it's good just the, the, those washes are meant to be just the thinnest layer of paint you're not even meant to see it as such you're just meant to apply, apply a layer that's not visible you then let it dry if it's not enough effect and you put another layer on. You don't put loads on at the start and then have to worry about pooling. Oh. Yeah, the other one is it tends to be the acrylic 
No, oh, yeah, they're, they are. Water based they're washers will, will do that more than the oil or yeah, enamel based. They're, they're an absolute they're nightmare acrylic, acrylic washers. They don't do acrylic washers. They don't quite well. Uh, Keith R. Good evening, all from a dark and gloomy South Wales. Good evening, Keith. Hey, Keith. Yep. Keith. Uh, Shadowlands. Uh, what's the temperatures of everyone's dens? Um, I am 25C. I can wear a t-shirt and I can wear my my flannel pants. I'm gonna put it as tonight. Hang on, hang on, let, hang on. Let's just let's just go back a bit. Flannel, flannel pants. It's pajama bottoms. Flannel pants. Yeah, flannel pants. You, we've got to see these. You're wearing pants, my name is flannel. I hope it's not flannel. And the crotchless. <laughs> oh, didn't notice that. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, brilliant. Um, John, do you want to do some, John? Oh, I can do. Yeah, uh, go for it, buddy. Sam, Matthew, yeah, Matthew Burtle says, Hello, all. It was a hell of a day, but he survived. Well, well done. Oh, well yeah, done. Any day you survive is a good day. John Howell says, uh, Good evening, everybody. Bye. Tony Baby saying, Good evening. Looking forward to an entertaining evening of crashing connections. That will um, do it tonight. Oh, we have oh, fine. I'll be fine. It would have no tag from Dan yet. It's amazing. Yeah. Errol Palmer, good evening, oh, gents. Yeah. Do you, any of you planning to attend Scale Model Fest? No. Uh, no. I, I try not to be a pest, to be honest. I'm not going to go. Oh, no. controversial. Uh, Matt Baker, evening, everyone. Happy Friday at last. Got a new. So my selection of the new deluxe goodies from UMP delivered today, just in time for the weekend. Yay! Yeah, boy. Happy days. Good one. And Tino Evil. Hello, guys. Good evening. Hey, um, Ryan. Is it yeah, Ryan? Ryan. Yeah. Yep. Schnitzel. Hey, guys. General question from a beginner. Could you achieve a showroom paint finish with acrylics or art enamels and lac as needed? You can. Um, you can, but it's a lot of hard work. It takes a lot more work. Mm. Yeah, I've, I've got a decent shine out of aqua gloss in the part in the yeah, past. But, yeah, you have to rub for days though, like you're rubbing a genie or something else. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Sam's. <laughs> It's, it's like your matches got wet. Um, <laughs> so new... oh, is it like your matches got wet? Matches. Oh, matches. No. 39. Susan <laughs> uh, Moon is good evening from Germany. Uh, hey. Kieran. Sharon. Kieran. Sharon. Sharon. Yep. Afternoon. Hope all are well. Is that that Scottish guy? <laughs> Scottish. Might as well be. <laughs> Might as well be French with you, Timbo. Trust me. He's from well, he's from it's Ireland and lives, and lives in uh, Canada. Yeah. And he has got a bit of an odd accent. And I was listening, hmm, maybe he's from Scotland. <laughs> well, I've got that a little wrong. Yeah. Oh dear. Not that far wrong, to be honest, though. Yeah. Same point, same point in the planet. Oh, it's chunky. Yeah. Celtic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So now we've got Ray Aquilina saying hello, my friends, and good evening to all. Oh, Ray. Yeah, Ray. Hi, Ray. Oh, Ray. Oh, Ray. Ray, be like Bob. <laughs> yep. Gary Kirby saying good evening, all. Oh, yes. hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> hey, Jeff Rifle. Hello, everyone. Hi. Nick Couch. Evening, chaps. Oh, no, no jokes on that one. No, uh, no, drink, no, no, no. Studio, good evening all. I did think of a joke, but I couldn't set it up. Oh, oh, oh. 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 I was having a drink at the time. Give me a board beer. So far, that's the best one. Uh, it's Dragon 64 with evening all. I thought of cushion it first. <laughs> Gosh, you're asking, what are we guys working on today? Right, trying to stay yeah. online. Stuff. Yeah, staying online, reading. Yeah. Speaking. Doing so well. That's what it is. Trying not to fart or burp loudly. Um, Harp. 
Harpy. Uh, Daryl Martin. Uh, I've got some photo of for the first time. Cockpit bits and not sure about bending tool. Stop laughing. Mm. Should I go for pliers or one of those desk mount gig type things? Go, go, for, much go for pliers first, then get your other one. One of those, mate. That's what you need. Yeah, tell your ones for unbeatable. Get that first because the tool you always use, and then get a bender machine when you can. Yep. Yeah. And uh, a blatant hint, I think we sell them at UMP. Oh, yeah. As well as we're now stuck in, we're now stuck in deluxe materials. <gasps> Apparently. And I've been, trying some, I've been trying some of their products I've never used before, and I'm well impressed. They do the new nice, new nice stuff, don't they? Yeah. No, I'm, I'm looking forward to trying the tissue paste. Tissue paste. We were looking at that. What was the other one? Oh, anyway, really? it's nice for a British company to support another British company. Oh. Yes, it is. And not, yeah. not any of this uh, foreign muck. No. Oh, that's foreign muck. Well, at least it means we'll have access to some once Brexit goes through. Yeah. Anyway. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> James 4410 he's saying hi again his real name is James Roberts and he's from the black country thanks for the welcome oh, where about you, sorry what, uh, where about James I'm in the black there you go oh, sorry, Joe. The asking, are you going to feed the swear box this week Paul no no, no ranks. I didn't, I didn't feed it last time. I didn't pay a penny. No, no, yeah. not. All right, maybe it'll be said. Yeah. You could have one tonight, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> I've got one brewing as well. I'm clenching. Oh, uh, I'm extremist. Um, Master Mute in a minute. Back Apple is saying evening, guys. Hello, Matt. Evening, Matt. Hey, Matt. Hey. That's making me hungry. Patrick McGeever, evening, everyone. Oh, our master's saying Paul's gone as soon as money's mentioned. Hell no, I'm here. Just my yeah. camera's off because I was stuffing my face with a caramel that thing. Oh, exactly. I turned my camera off when I eat. You say, Oh, what the hell are you doing, Tim? Oh, dodgy. <laughs> <laughs> and there's Hannah. Evening, Hannah. Hello. Hey, Hannah. Hello, Hannah. Hello, Hannah. Hmm. Talking about great cake. Hello, yeah, Steve's asking, Are they your lounge pants, Tim? I'm in my lounge. And I'm wearing them. They also oh. double as curtains. <laughs> Those are double as curtains. <laughs> uh, Kev Stevens saying evening, guys. Hope you're all well. Hello. Mike saying cross Dan to lower the tone. Oh, it's, it's not just Dan. Not <laughs> to be fair, if Dan was reading this, I would be lowering the tone for him. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, Kieran says, screw you, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> That's not very nice. Easily confused, is I? Yeah. yeah. Just just call him a Timotate. Right. Right. Uh, Wendy saying, thank you, Hannah, Paul and James. Two UMP parcels have arrived. Ooh, nice one. Good one. Yeah, nice one. Well done. Yeah. Oh, I'm so well done. <laughs> Well done for collecting a party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, congrats. There's Andy Callis. Hi, gang. Sorry I'm late. The pop demanded a walk. Hope everyone is well. Well, yeah. Pop oh, comes first. Hey, Andy. Hello, Andy. Uh, Sprugler Addict. Hello, everyone. Hello, Dave. If that is your real name, unless you blagged us last time because Tim said Dave. Hello, Dave. I got a feeling he did. Okay. Uh, Tony Davies saying Al's joined the Black Hand gang. Yes, he has. Yeah, he, he's off for a Michael Jackson tribute job what? later. In reverse. Yeah. Uh, move on. Hello, <laughs> all. Hope you're all good. Yeah. He says, no, he's just not due or wash until Sunday. <laughs> well, we're, we're, Gary's a shouter. Uh -oh. And yet, Paul swears by Tamia. You can't. I don't know what he's referring to. I assume. I think it was the British. British. Um, Tamia does sell CA glue. You can't really get it in the UK, so that kind of rules that out. I don't know anything else. Deluxe sells that competes with Tamia. Oh, the Plastic Magic, which I haven't tried yet. Yeah, I tried it today. Yeah, Sam said it was good. But yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Second stuff, very good. I'll, I'll tell you now. 
this is an accusing of anything. My uh, my integrity is solid. If something's good, I'll tell you. If something's crap, I'll tell you. Yeah, yeah. With the stuff we stock, we stock for a reason. This is stuff I swear by. But yes, I love Tamiya. Tamiya products, tools, kits. Um, can't beat them all day long. That company yep. has got modeling all sewn up in one word. Yep. The plastic but magic. There are other things out there. I need to keep an eye on UMP as well. Yeah. <gasps> yep. Break news. The, pla the plastic magic comes with an extra long brush. It does. Well. It's a handy little brush. I've not used it yet. I've not glued anything together. But... Yeah, it's it's really really fine and pointy. It's wonderful. Yeah, yeah. No, I've not even used the glue yet. I've not tried it full stuff, so I should be interested to try it. Yeah, it's not bad. It's good. I am very impressed with that super glue gel. That is brilliant stuff. I've been using that. And the um, the super glue accelerator I've used as well. And that, that's really good. Um, I've been using Zappy feet. Is it Zappy? Whatever it's called. Zip kicker, sorry. Yeah. Uh, for years, but yeah, I like that rocket rocket blaster. Uh, 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 <laughs> anyway. <laughs> At least they didn't call it shocker or something. <laughs> oh, God. We were going for the catalog. There was one called Tissue Paste. <laughs> There was some other things in there that had dodgy names, weren't there? Yeah. It's something that we're just sick and twisted. <sighs> Probably a bit of both. Yeah. Uh, Kev's saying that Gary is the new Brian. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, Mark, Mark's just messaged me there about this problem of our cloud, and you're all going to go. He's um, using the Chrome. Uh oh. Uh, uh -oh. And it's coming out more like flat aluminium. Uh, uh -oh. you're, you're putting too much on, mate. Yeah, that is it. You've got to put the thinnest coat on. As soon as you get a shine, leave it alone. It, I, I'm not keen on the best chrome I've used so far is uh, Mr. Be Super Metallics. Yeah, uh, but there are others. Cake Colors does a good one. Um, Alclad, I was having this conversation today. I'm not going to get too far in it. Alclads were top of the game at one point for the metals. Yeah. I don't think they are anymore. I think they're superseded by other products. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we sprayed it. It's coming out like flat aluminium. Sprayed a UMP primer, alkali black base, which is also a bit problematic as well. Uh, chrome at 15 PSI, 0.2 nozzle, and the bottle is not original alkali, so it must be a MIG rebottling, is it? Um, oh, it is an original alkali, sorry. It's either gone off, which it does tend to do. You know when it's gone off because it clumps together. Um, but I've never had any luck with the alkali chrome. You've got to literally put it on until you get a sheen and leave it because you put another one on, it goes flat like it does. Yeah, and then you can't really touch it afterwards either. No. Especially with that black base, which never seems to dry. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. Um, Mark, have a, have a look around. Look at Miss Toby Super Metallic Chrome. I like that. Um, and AK Extreme Chrome's not bad either. Yeah. To get a true chrome finish, you ideally need to put it over 2K for that ultra smoothness. Um, yeah, it's one of those paints. But... Yes, mate, that's it, really. That's my opinion. Anybody else got any thoughts on Alkali Chrome? Yeah, it's pants. Move along. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Dan puts it as succinctly mm -hmm. as anyone can. Yep. Sadly. So back to chat. Sprue glue. It's an hello, Dave. Be my wife, Paul. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh, Scott Catlin is saying hi. Happy back watching after spending months moving houses. Finally settled and ready to back, get back to it. Excellent. Oh, well like that. Uh, Oh, yeah. Thank you, Gary. My ears are much better now. You've turned off the caps lock. There we go. Well done, Gary. Uh, John Mendo with Hey All. Uh, James is saying he's from Walter Wolverhampton Way. Uh oh. Doesn't that make him Doesn't that make him a Yammer? Yeah, 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 I'm all right. Yeah, I'm Junction <laughs> 7 of the M6, but it's not far away. So. Yep. But I don't live on the M6. I, I predict a bromance. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, with that beard, it's got to happen. 
Yeah, but I, you know I don't mix well with the rest. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you'd be fine. I'll yeah. give you a rest. <laughs> Chunk in the chat saying hello. Hey, Chunk. Yeah, be off if you're in here oh. saying hello as soon as you're in here with us. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there he is. Good day, good day, you, yow. Having some technical difficulties. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just to interrupt. On the YouTube feed, the video, which is obviously a little bit behind, when someone mentioned Al Clad, the subtitle said Al Qaeda. Give it about 20 seconds and we'll be kicked off by the CIA. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get a flashbang roll through the window. <laughs> well, you have got bars up, I wonder what's going on. Uh, Tony's saying he's South Staffs. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Kev's saying tissue paste. Really? A teenager's the only ones buying it? <laughs> <laughs> well, as. No, they're making it. Is it you got to be 16 or 18 now to buy model glue? Really? Yeah. It's 18, I think, isn't it? Yeah, probably. And rightly so. Yeah. Probably People are sniffing it. Yeah. Yeah. I'll yeah. Put a drink it. Um, Justin Porter says, uh, FlexiFile sent, sells a very nice CA applicator. Does anyone use that? Do you know what, Justin? I had one for years. I used it on and off. It's good, but it's not as precise as a toothpick, in my opinion. Right. Is, that, is that this one? That's the one. Yeah, that's the one. It's, it's, a, good, yeah. it's a good tool, but I think it applies just a little bit too much CA yeah. for a little dab. Yeah, I've got, I've got the Trumpy one, and I use... Toothpicks, cocktail stick. Yeah. You know, and there's nothing better than using toothpicks, and then half an hour later, you realize it's all stuck to your cotton mat, and it's brilliant. Yeah, yeah, it's only the micro balloons, yes. Um. I will try them on the next car I do. I've already painted the Escort seat. Yeah, they, they come in collections of five. Well, um, sorry, bad micro machines well, joke. Well, all right. Okay. <laughs> Anyone remember the advert? No. Yeah, we're no. You, uh, <laughs> yeah but yeah. we grew up. Uh, well, Marshall Sammy, his model is referring to Sammy as crack glue, paint, shake box, and thank you. Oh, is that not a testament to Sammy at all? Then? Oh, that... um, yeah, they do get called shake and bake, um, but yeah, it's because they fit together really well. It's not meant as an insult, <laughs> and I've missed something there. Um, Apart. Simon P went to St. Ives show on Sunday and picked up lovely 124 Tammy and a Minolta to Toyota 88 CV. Cool. That's a cool car. Yeah. Mm. Gary is asking for recommendations for a gloss black. Um, G, uh, Mr. LB GX2, is it? Yeah, GX2. GX2. Uh, it's 2 in it. Oh. You and P Prime. Uh, yeah, I'll use the gloss, yeah. gloss, gloss yeah. black primer. Isn't bad. And LP1, I think it is, gloss black. Tamiya lacquer. Very yeah. nice. Or just any old flat black yeah. with gloss, uh, clear gloss over it. There's that too, yeah. Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. Evening, everybody. Hello, Brian. If I remember right. Yeah. Dave. <laughs> Uh, Benny and the Jets says no mountain for a while. Oh, Benny. How are you going uh, down the hill? Saskatchewan. I'm actually saying you're, you're nearly getting there. Getting there. Saskatchewan. Better make Saskatchewan, as you used to call it. Yeah. Uh, Sprugal is saying 30 minutes in and Dan's still here. What the fuck? I know. Isn't it? Oh. Good, 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 Drew one is saying Dudley here. 
So he's either the same where he's from, he's called his son's dog. dog. Old of a keyboard. Dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got tell, have you? Good lay. Uh, uh, would it be together? <laughs> that, that's together. Good lay. Um, Gary says, sorry, missed that bit. What's the crow make of the day? It's AK Extreme. AK Extreme Chrome and Mr. Obvious Super Metallics are my favourites of Chrome. There is another brand, but we're not we're not making no, we're not no. that name. Yeah, right. we're going nowhere near that name. Oh. We're mentioning that name, unfortunately. Yeah. Mm. Oh, hey. <laughs> no, 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 no. It is a there, very... an American brand that yeah. isn't sold in the UK. Purely That's just good good Apparently, it is a very good paint and it's a very good chrome. It it's may well be. I use one of them in my videos. No, never, never, <laughs> never going to mention that. Never. It's, it's just a ridiculous name. Uh, James says, oh, yes, he is a yam yam. Yay. <laughs> uh, Epic Senpai, hello. Totally forgot about the live show this week. Oh, I did forget about us. Oh, 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 oh. oh. I feel very hard. Yeah. Um... <laughs> yeah. I'm not even going to say that, Kev, because I don't want to put the kibosh on anything. <laughs> um, Brian Milk, Brian Winmilk, Kings Winford meets a chat not to be read about. Not to be read out, yeah. Yeah, well, there you go. Tough. Does Brian um, Chaz Art saying evening all. Kev saying Dan's interweb's not gone, he just passed it on to Chunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think so. Although we can see Chunk's face, yes. Yeah. Well, we can, yeah. Good man. Yeah, I would say, uh, yeah. With his Akka Dakar. Like you're a good looking man, Chunk. And you look over my picture. Oh, camera. Camera. Oh, camera. Oh, camera. Camera. Sexy <laughs> baseball cap. Go, Bulldogs. Go, Bulldogs. No lines. Snakes. <laughs> you get any sleepers? Sorry. Uh, three and a bit, I think. What, what time? Is it? Minutes or hours? Uh, five five a.m. By the AMC, that is commitment. Get up to come yeah, and yeah, on the live show. Dedication. What have yeah. you like? Yeah. Done, hey? Chunk's putting himself out there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice one, Chunk. And now the uh, camera and everything's playing up. Right. <laughs> it's fine. It'll do. It's all right. <laughs> it could be worse. Chunk, it could be uh, the connection that I've had for the last month or <laughs> year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're gonna put it to the test in a second, Dan. We're gonna do your bit in a minute. Yeah, no worries. Right. Um I'm gonna do the rest because John's just taking forever. Chaz Ars is even an old gifty after talking absolute rubbish. Are the 82 just dragged to IKEA's eating dime bars? Uh Ooh, e models, uh Chunk says I think that's true. No, I don't know what that's about. And Sergeant Bones is banging on about a model. Uh ten parts, good detail, mini art, seriously 104 parts for the belly plate and the suspension. Not interior version, he's doomed. And Matt goes, mm. Chunk's the eye candy for this show, then. Oh. You got one? <laughs> oh, yeah. Now um, that's Sam. <laughs> and there we are. Yeah. Hey, well, well done. Ready oh, well to done. Look at that. Like grease lightning. <laughs> Bye, can I have one? I'm going. You can run it. What was some. Can't beat that reply to somebody. I'm using. I know them. You, yeah. Using such and such is not coming out very well. I said, "But that's because it's shite." <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at it in the corner, but it's not one of ours. <laughs> not, I'm saying it's shite. It is shite. Um, <clears throat> right. So I'm going to hand it over to Dan. Tim, get ready. Um, <laughs> oh, no. I want to go get a drink from the shop. So I've been waiting for a section. Go on then. Hurry up away from here. Uh, um. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of a drink out there, Tim. Nearly. Nearly. Oh, so I'm gonna put the camera on Dan. Hopefully Dan's gonna screen share for a start. If he gets oh, no. Oh, no. It's jitsy oh, play. Oh, oh no. Tim oh. screen sharing. Just have a go screen sharing. Has that gone away already? It's not you, mate. It's it's jitsy playing up. Oh, Tim, have a go, Tim. Oh, yeah, yeah, Al, Al, stand by. Yeah. Stand by, Al. For what? 
Um, <laughs> right, anything, right, number one, paying attention to what we're doing. <laughs> Is this the what have you been buying bit? No, no. <laughs> We've been working on it. You can't just leave. All right, okay. Members, mm-hmm. starting off with the fo- oh, starting have- off with the forum. Have you clicked on it? I've had food on my Right, can you see my picture? No, you've gone. Oh, you're gone, oh, you're gone. Oh, no. No. So this is Jitsi playing up now. This isn't us. Yeah. Oh, right, so. Al, if you can load up what I've been working on on the forum. Right. Let's what see I'm if I'm <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's there. But I'm not talking to you right now. What's up? Tease boy. Dan, Dan, bogey, bogey, Dan. Right, <laughs> right, Dan. Are you going to read it while Al shows it? Uh, yes. I, uh, Al, uh, Al, can you zoom in a touch? Oh, nothing happening. Uh oh. Uh. <laughs> no, nope. it, it's it, it's not it's not moving. The week that I have me upgrade, I'm. I know. I know. Oh, there we go. Whoa. Whoa. Bit, bit, bit of a lag. Yeah, bit go. of a lag there, but okay. is that okay? Yes. The weird right. thing is, I've just tried to scroll Al's screen. <laughs> 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 and guess what, Dan? I was doing the same. Oh dear. Right. So Al's going to share why Dan reads. You lot are going to pick your winner. <laughs> John's going to help start a time with Norman later while Al does a random number generator for us because nothing else working. It's there. Yeah. Awesome. Quickly, Al, what's best yeah. to send it to you? PDF, PowerPoint, or movie? <laughs> uh, anything. Anyway, first person in the chat to have a dig at Apple gets silenced. Go. <laughs> Be warned. I'm a oh. Oh. Right, go on, Dan. Right. Uh, this The first one out of the gate is Mr. Hawk Moon. And this is a one tenth scale GP2000. It's finished. Zero paint, Bendix yellow, uh, black use, clear coated in 2K. Uh, K, uh, no, zero diamond 2K. Uh, nice kit goes together well. It just looks like it's doing 200 mile an hour standing still. Looks nice. nice That's a nice bit of work. Uh, Mr. Captain Bigelow next. Uh, this week it's finished the Great Wall of 148 F15E. It's a great kit which went together well. Painted it using model air medium gunship grey and weathered with 502 oils. I uh, wanted to do it in flight, so he created a simple base using a block of wood and a brass rod. That's cool. Yeah, that's, that, nice. I like that. That looks nice. Cool. Uh, this oh. Tomcat 64 oh. next. <laughs> and he's presenting the final review. Brother Frosticus of the Second Tactical Squad, fourth company of the Imperial Tigers chapter. Uh, around his feet, you can see the skull and discarded bolt gun of Brother Warwick. <laughs> it was certainly <laughs> to his own head off during a badly thought out nose picking incident. Alas, Paul Warwick. <laughs> uh, this is a Games Workshop slash Forge World's 143 millimeter, pardon me, Space Marine from about 1999, entered into this year's Sci Fi SIG. Uh, as Don, Dan and John have said, I nearly said Get Don. your own name, right? I know. Yeah. I, nearly, I nearly said Don. Don. Weirdly. Uh, I've mentioned on previous shows that the captain was disappointing in places, to say the least. Uh, paint has been Ultimate Primer, Vallejo Model Air, and the orange, uh, for the orange, and Andrea, scale colour, live colour, and Games Workshop for the details. Washes are from Vallejo and Tamir. Cool. That is That's cool. That really yeah, you've done, done a really good job with that one. Very nice. A really good job. This is F27 Packs next. And he says, good evening, happy modelers. Maybe we're just modelers. Uh, there's not been much work done on the bench this week due to work commitments. Nevertheless, he's finally managed to get this micro mere 1144 from McDonald Douglas, MD11, uh, to the stage it uh, had entered the paint shop. So far, there is Tamir Rakakan Primer and Tamir TSX3 over a gloss bike gloss black base 
Uh, if things go according to plan this week, uh, it will end up looking like a Swiss Air MD11 from around 1993 uh, when he flew on one to Europe. Ooh, oh, very good. Cool. You could say his kit for a 144, though. Yeah. Oh, this is Mr. One Mac next. <coughs> Who's oh. he? And this is a unspecified scale uh, Meng B17G, primed mostly, an ultimate white ready for coastal command scheme. I don't remember them having jet engines. <laughs> 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 the props are sitting somewhere else. Oh, right. Is there anything else? Because I might need to. No, I think that was the last one on the forum when I got <clears> that. That's me refresh. So it's the. What have you been working on this week for the. Face sake. See, that was seamless. Well done, now. Okay, thank you. Is that okay, uh, nice. size wise? Like yeah, a, a, a tad okay, bigger yeah. if we can. And a, a tad bigger? Yeah. And maybe put it top of the page. Uh, how do you mean top of the page? I think BAP's one of the very last ones on Facebook. It, it, I had this whole set up. A few more comments, though, yeah. You know that. <clears throat> Is that the first one? Emma Chaco has said that was terrible. <laughs> uh, I do believe, yes, Mr. Christopher it should be the first one, yes. There we go. Nice. Uh, this is a, hang on, I've just got a, I can't see a thing 150, there. Either, 156 scales, I think it's meant to be a Stug. 42 from World War Games, Atelier repainted with Vallejo air paint, and whether with Citadel links and Vallejo washes and acrylic textures. Wow, I'm glad my camera's off because I look like, yeah. That's cool. I look like I'm sniffing my MacBook screen. Well. Oh, wow. That's cool. That's nice. I do like that, John. You can read all that. Uh, greeting, <laughs> greeting slaves to the plastic this week saw the completion of the Tacom 135th German Bergpanzer 2, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. It's, either, uh, two, it's yeah. either a 2 or a 7. A 2. Uh, you find the UMP grey is painted it using uh, AK real colours oils by uh, <coughs> apart from the chain and the crane cables. This is an out of the box build. Many thanks. Hope you like it. See you all on the Friday. That is yeah, cool. On. I do like that. John, very Are nice. you using uh, our screen, Dan? Yes. That was the touch movie camera. I want to say, if, if I use my own, I'll be lost. Oh. You want a bigger? Sorry, Paul. Oh, yes. Don't we all? Uh, one second, Alan. I'll grab I'll grab another device, because I'm, I'm I'm equipped with many Apple devices. No, not offhand, Tim. Okay. Hey, try, try your glasses. Not, not offhand, no. Okay, I don't want to move yet from a... From the I'm, I'm trying not to admit that I might need to go and have my eyes tested. Thank you, John. <laughs> well, you, you turned 40 now, Dan. Oh, I know it's bad. Which one are we at? We're at James now. Mr. Roberts. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I think we're at Hi, everyone. Here is his to me at 132nd F4U1A. It's finished in the fleet air arms. Pardon me. Uh, it's primed with UMP oh. primer. It's painted it with Vallejo and to me acrylics. All the weathering was completed with oils and sealed down with aqua glass. Then a flat coat all over to finish things off. Only aftermarket used were the decals and Edward instrument panel. Thanks for looking and happy modeling. Nice one. Very nice. I like that. I like that cool. a lot. Yeah. Lovely weathering. Oh, there's a message for me. You don't get Al's email. <laughs> uh, me and all my, uh, was, I'll tag him and thought, hang on, that'll pop up on the page. <laughs> uh, Mr. Charles Stellini next. Got some fun with that, though. Uh, he's finished the uh, Italieri 1 ninth scale, 750 Harley. He's primed it in AK black and grey enamel primer and painted with Tamiya paints. Went together well and have a great weekend, guys. Nice. nice. Very yeah, nice. Uh, yeah. I do like that. Yeah. Good I job, like though. his saddlebag. Next is Mr. Justin Hart, and this is a Aoshima 124th 2016 Toyota GT86. Is used UMP grey primer, zero paints, Toyota dark metallic grey, and zero 2K diamond gloss clear. Cool. Good shine on that. 
Yeah, it looks very grey. And next is Mr. Stuart Avery. <clears throat> uh, he says he started on another armour build. This time it's to me as Panzer II. Uh, whatever that says. Uh, simple little build. Uh, not bad for a kit for over 40 years in production. For the tracks, he'll be using full metal tracks to enhance the sag. Who were? Uh, it'll be using the figures supplied with the kit and making a vignette uh, based around the North African campa campaign to go with the kit. Have a great weekend at the bench, guys. That's a tricky name. Hang on. Hang on. This is Damien. <laughs> well, I'm going to leave it there because I might get in. I didn't get on to what you said until I just said the name out loud. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is this is Damien. And now, and now I've got my head in my hands. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is his first build since he was a teen, so about 25 years. Uh, he's starting with a beautiful Porsche uh, before he moves to more challenging motorcycles, which are his main love. Uh, no doubt he'll make mistakes, but he's looking forward to seeing the final product. Super. Nice one, Damien. Nice one. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hang on a minute. Let's get up. Why, why am I only looking at the Berg Panzer then? What's going on? Uh, you still got your screen open, Tim, on yourself? <laughs> don't think so. Well, that's nice. <clears throat> okay. What's this load of shows? It's saying, it's saying angry hours. <laughs> 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 it's done by someone who's not a real model, I mean. <laughs> yeah. uh, this next one is our very own Mr. Luke Carswell. Yeah, from Bearded Rifle Model Works. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this week has finished his Syria Dio. Uh, lots and lots of scratch building, but the main bits are uh, the 35th scale Takum Typhoon uh, KM Rap. Uh, the basis fields of glory models, the figures, including the cat, are a mix of Vez the Tusk, Meng, and Evolution miniatures. Uh, painted in a mix of Tamiya and Meg Acrylic, sprayed through the UMP Apex using a 0 0.2, 0 0.35, and a 0.5 needle. Nice. Uh, figures are brush painted with model color of UMP Black Primer, all weathered with a variety of UMP washers and MIG products. Happy modeling and happy Friday. Nice one, Luke. That's cool as hell, Luke. Yeah, that's a good one, mate. I was wondering where the car I've was. got to say, if anyone wants to go watch an interesting video, watch Luke's last bench update when he was a little bit in <laughs> very early in the morning. Yes. That, that was, was interesting, Luke. It was very funny. <laughs> Did you wake up in the morning like, what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was entertaining, though. Yes, very it good. Thing, it was good. Uh, this is Mr. Daniel Blair next. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a 124th scale 1957 Chrysler 300C from AMT. Uh, painted in Tamir Primer Grey uh, and Tamir Italian Red. All from a rattle can. Uh, the interior is Model Masters Flat Black and Leather Brown with Chrome Silver Trim. Uh, the custom rims are Hopping Hydros 124th scale 23s. With low pro rubber. Nice. Mm. Mm. That's cool. a nice kind of build, then. Well done. Yeah. yeah. Nice one, Dan. Your wheels fell off, though. Uh, <laughs> wheels fell off. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm just pointing out. Uh, yeah. I like this one. This is Mr. Tim Higgins. Oh, yeah. Hello. <laughs> right, that went wrong in the beginning. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I sounded uh, Hello. But uh, yucky do. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, it says hello from South Africa. This is a G124 scale McLaren F1 GTR long tail. It were. It's a Loctite Le Mans, Le Mans 1998. It's a number 41 and the body painted and primed with Tamiya spray cans. Gloss coated in Humbrol enamel gloss varnish. Ooh, you're, you're a brave He's a brave man. He's a brave Lucky with that. Yeah. Give you that. Uh, the box came with a nice photo etch detail bits for brake discs and interior. Uh, a great mojo building kit for him due to his attractive but simple scheme. Very nice. Yeah, nice. I do like that one. I like that. That's a good yeah. finish for that rattle can. 
Yeah, it, it is. is. Cool. I mean, yeah. Very nice. He's either got them the size of football or he just knew what he was doing. Yeah, and FYI, there'll be a, a, an F1 McLaren group build at some point in the future. Mm -hmm. And a pickup truck build. What, what did Timothy call it? Yeah. matter. We're moving on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is Mr. Scott Kilford. And this cool. is a model factory hero. Uh, one ninth scale sidecar. Uh, real point, uh, 0 0.3 millimeter thick leather was used. Uh, the pillow look was achieved by grooving out the resin and piping was added using bead making strand. You see how well. I up on the word pillow was mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, baby. That's good if it's leather, real leather. Yeah. Yep. My, Tim, Tim did it on his Merc and it looks pretty cool. Yeah. From about 14 feet. Hey, 14 foot. <laughs> Uh, this is Mr. Michael Benjamin Mitchell. <coughs> uh, he's working on a one ninth scale Esky Panzer Grenadier. Uh, he definitely thinks Esky should have been clear on how to assemble the upper torso uh, of the figure as the head should go on first before assembling the torso. Uh, the hair is painted uh, in titanium gold topped with uh, Dela Rowney Burnt Humper Craft Oil uh, in the tube. Uh, uh, face was first painted in Pactra flat flesh base colour, then went over with Tester's warm flesh tone, and the eyeballs are Tester's light ivory. Uh, he still needs to attach and paint the ears uh, before he considers the head mostly finished. And he's going to be taking his time with this, but it's considerably challenging, and he doesn't want to goof it up too much. Cool. Yeah, he did all right. Uh, this is Mr. Matthew Dillon next. I'd say this needs more pictures. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. <laughs> FYI again, a lot of FYIs tonight, and they don't sound for you. Um, just one picture per post, not, not ten. Timothy, Timothy had to step in and be the bad man. He was a mean one, isn't he? He is always mean, isn't he? a boy. It, I'm oh, moving along. Mind you, though, somebody left the page today because they got told that the airbrush lube they're using wasn't very popular. <laughs> they left. Oh, dear. I think that's the reason. I can't think of anything else that happened. Anyway. Uh, Mr. Matthew Dillon. Uh, he says, this was finished up a couple of weeks ago. Now for the classic carb group build. It's a 125th uh, Revell 1968 Dodge Dart. Uh, splash Candy Plum Purple. Scat Splash for the black interior and Tamir X and XF colors for the rest and homemade black enamel wash. Uh, also has lots of other detail parts, uh, ignition distributor, distributor. Why I couldn't say that word. I don't know. Say it again. Di uh, no. And wire looms, <laughs> uh, battery cables, <laughs> nitrous system and an aluminium air cleaner. Distributor. Distributor. Oh, that right. Right. So you can say aluminium, but not distributor. Exactly. Okay. Well, okay. well, yeah. That's not a brain fart. That's a nice build, Matthew. I like that. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, yeah. Good. It looks really good. It's cool as well. Uh, this is Mr. Bjorn Gronling next. And this is a Conversion Bell Kits 124th Ford Fiesta RS WRC number 46, Valentino Rossi. Uh, uh, for the Monza Rally Show in 2018, he's painted it in a mix of Tamiya XF8 and XF1. And now it's time for the decals. Nice. Cool. Looking yeah. good. Nice finish. Nice shot, uh, Dan Edmonds will be next. I quite like this one as well. I'm only saying that because I've got one in staff somewhere, tucked away. Uh, this is a 124 scale Tamiya Opal Calibra Cliff. Uh, it says he's plodding along with this one, but it's getting there. The interior, chassis, running gear, uh, splitters, and wheels are all done. It can now turn his attention to polishing the body and painting the glass and window rubbers. Joy! Have a great Sweet. show and a wonderful weekend, everybody. Nice work, Dan. Yeah, yeah that's a good one. Nice well. Hello, but a nice. Nice finish. <clears throat> 
Uh, this is Mr. Justin Porter next. Uh, this is a 124th scale to me, a Lotus 7. Uh, all done after sitting on the stash for over a decade with an ugly paint job. I uh, wet sanded it, reprimed it, sprayed with Vallejo Deep Green, and finally finished uh, building the little guy. Cool. That was cool. Mm. Nice yeah. build. Well recovered. Nice. Yeah, I like the green on wheels. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Good day, you big galah. Nice, okay. him. On you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is Mr. Clinton Eels. He says, uh, hello, everyone. He oh. don't say hello, everyone. He says it completely different. Good day, Cobber. <laughs> <laughs> he says right here. He, he's finished two egg planes as part of Paul's egg plane buddy build. Uh, he's completed the Hasegawi F-14 Tomcat and the P-51 Mustang. Uh, so he had to pick one, and he's gone with a P-51. It's primed in UMP black, top-coated into me at LP-48 sparkling silver. Uh, the nose cone is Mr. Hobby H26 bright green, and also to me at XF85 and XF62. It's a great little kit to get the mojo back. Cheers, and have a great weekend. Yeah, that does look good, that chunk. Yeah, That's yeah. Great. Oh. <clears throat> uh, this is uh, Kieran. Ryan, I'm guessing. If I butchered your name, I apologize. See, Tim. Yeah. Uh, this is a. Uh, oh, what? It's Tammy Atlanta Evo. I was going to say, that doesn't say Tammy, though, does it? Yeah. 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 Not a mask, really, don't. It really no. does. It yeah. really does. Not I'm telling you, on my phone, it says, no, there's no Tammy on my screen. Hang on, oh. I'm going to screen share and I'll share it with you later. It's been edited. <laughs> it must have. Uh, well, anyway, done, well, done, possibly. well done, Kieran, going back and editing the info. Yes. Uh, it's a, to me, a 124th Lancer Evo. Six. Seven. Seven. I don't care. <laughs> I've got a digital watch. That's evidence. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, chassis, and <laughs> chassis and running gear done. Uh, he's resprayed the body, but decanted TS49 and shot through the airbrush. So much better. Uh, he's open to get it completed this week. Nice. That looks a good finish. That looks a good finish. Uh, the internals are lovely. Uh, Kieran saying he just Kieran. updated it after spotting a spelling mistake. Ah. Well done, well done ah. Kieran. Well done. Uh, Mr. Bap Athwell next. Cool. Uh, and this is a Fujimi 124th Lotus Europa. Oh. Uh, it's painted in your UMP grey primer. Pardon me. To me, X1 gloss black and finished with Omnicron 2K clear. Cool. Uh, the body was uh, cool. using 3000 wet and dry and machine polished using Maguire's three step polishing system to give it a really good shine. Just needs oh. to install the glass and the chrome around the windows. Lovely. Very nice. Yeah, that looks. Uh, yeah. yeah, definitely not my favourite Lotus though. Yeah, it wasn't the no. wasn't the Europa the one that the windshield was actually a stressed member of the chassis. So if you broke the windscreen, you couldn't drive it because the chassis would twist. Oh, Could well have been. Uh, I don't know. I think it was. Looks like a Ute though. A chunk. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> It'll change once it's all together. And the very final one of the Ooh. evening is Mr. Tony Choose His Shoes Off. Oh, it is, uh, I'm not gonna, I nearly did it in a Scottish accent then, but I won't. Go on, go that, on, Dan. That, go that, on. That terrible. Go on, Dan. Good evening, everybody. Oh, hang on, hang on. How's good? Oh, yeah. oh, go, on, no. go, on. go on, you got to make the end of it up, or you've got it there, anyway, haven't you, Dan? Come. Uh, it says, good evening all. This is a, to me, a 112 scale Yamaha YZR 500, uh, antenna 3, UMP Gel Primer. Colors are LP50 bright red and LP5 semi-gloss black. Yes, clear coat is U-Pol 2K clear. All put through his trusty Apex airbrush. Have a great weekend, everyone. Nice one. Here we go. And yeah, Al, you died at the last minute. Well, it was fine for me. There we go. <laughs> So we're off to one bit. Oh, oh God. Right, that's oh, it then. Going yeah. on. Yeah. Right. Al, Al, you need to send me your email so I can try and send this thing over to you. Okay. No way, I'll be able to open that. 
Uh, well, no, I sent it as a PDF. Oh, okay. So we'll, we'll give it. We'll give it a try. We can give it a try. Okay. Have, we tried, have we tried the match tried sharing actually on Google? Hey. <laughs> no, you know what I mean. Let, let me just try share. I went to Safari before. You see. Yeah, uh, yeah, it probably worked better on Chrome, wouldn't it? Excuse the Moji GP, it's the only link I've got shared. Is that working or is that froze? Uh, that's fine. Yeah, that's working. Uh, that's working. Do you watch Moji GP while we're waiting? Can do. Oh, Mark has it about crap. Well, I'm, I'm just sharing from my uh, keynote, so it's, it's not really connected to the internet. So no, you... no. Well, we didn't try that though, did we? We tried yeah. Dan from probably not on Chrome. Were you sharing from Chrome or Safari, Dan? Chrome. Right, okay. So I'm still sharing okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, that's promising. What are you sharing with? This is on Chrome. <coughs> oh. That is Safari. Is that still working? Yeah. 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 Okay, so we've got intermittent faults. How, how weird. Mm. Intermittent yep. faults are always the worst ones to figure out. Yes, they well, are. Let me, try, let me try screen sharing again. Go on, then. All right, let's put it on you. Let's go there. Touch wood, though. My MacBook seems to be working. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> calm down, calm down. Hey, hey, you turn into calm down. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't just down. see all my hair into the funny. Then you've gone. Yeah, you've gone. One. Weird, isn't it? Yes, very right. Okay, well, I, I don't well, let's, let's do a giveaway while we're here. Um, Luke, do you want to do yours? Are you there, Luke? We've got to do the recap, mate. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Go on, you have to imagine the kids because um, Al's turned it off. Yeah, uh, right. Well, do you want me to? <laughs> And Al, send me over your email when you get a chance, please. Yeah, I, I, no, I don't, don't worry about me. I'll put it, it, put it, it, put it, put it in the. Uh, yeah, found it. Found it. Live, yeah, okay. Everyone knows what they're going to vote on, so don't worry okay. about going for the recap. Go on then, John and um, Norm. When you're ready. Oh, yeah, hang on. I better give it the spiel. Right, so you got five minutes to pick your favorite bill that we've just gone through that I completely forgot about. Um, so pick your favorite build. Try and. Um, Oh, is that you, Dan? No, what? No, that's that's me. Is that you as well? Um, yeah. Try and remember the builder's name if you can, and the subject it will help. And uh, pick your favourite build, and they want to go to you back. It's as simple as that. When you're ready, John and uh, Num. Yep, ready. Ready, John. We will begin in three, two, one. Cast your votes. Oh, didn't mean to click on me. Okay. Right, Al, uh, Dan. If Al wants, Al, can you do the? Recap on the forum. Yep. And then I'll do phase eight. Okay, this is Hawk Moon's one tenth scale GT2000, uh, finishing zero paints, etc., etc., 200 miles per hour. Uh, Captain Bigelow's uh, Great Wall Hobby 148th F15E. Nice. Uh, Tomcat 64's Brother Frosticus of the Second Tactical Squad, whoever, Fourth Company. Whoever's taking the votes, that's my one. Yeah, and yeah. mine, please. Of the Imperial yeah, Tigers. Me as well. uh, F-27 packs and and his MD-11 uh, Micromere 144 scale. Uh, Swiss Air, uh, that thing. And that's the forum. Four minutes. Uh, and I shall pick it up on face ache with Mr. Chris Glover. Close your ears. Uh, 156th scale stub. I quite like that actually. Uh, Mr. I think you still share it well. <laughs> uh, Are you share? Do you want me to share again, sir? Yeah, you're gonna have to, mate. Okay. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Close your message as well. <laughs> oh. Right, that's Mr. Chris Glover, yet, and he's 156. Six, 56 stuff there. That's his stug. It's 50 yeah. kids. It's 50 kids. <laughs> yeah. Wow. 
this is Mr. John Stone with his uh, Tacum 135th Berg Panzer 2. That has to be my fault, John. Yeah, for me as well. Uh, Mr. James Roberts with his 132nd Tamiya F4U 1A. And then Mr. Charles Stellini with his Italiero 1 ninth scale 750 Harley. Uh, Mr. Justin Hart with his Aoshima 124th scale Toyota GT86. Mr. Stuart Avery with his Panzer II. Uh, Mr. Damien. I'm so going to dodge that one. Uh, uh, this is a Porsche. It's a Porsche 911 GT2, to be precise. Sorry. Uh, Mr. Luke Carswell with his Syria Dio. And the cat. Very cool. And the cat, yes. <laughs> Where's the cat? Where's the cat? Where's the cat? Where's the cat? I didn't see the cat. Uh, the, the next one is Mr. Daniel Blair, and it's a 124 scale Chrysler 300C from AMT. Mm -hmm. uh, the next is Mr. Tim Higgins with a Fujimi 124 scale McLaren F1 GTR long tail. Uh, Mr. Cool. Scott Kilford with his uh, sidecar from Model Fact Hero in one ninth scale, his seat in leather and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Michael Benjamin Mich Mitchell with a one ninth mm -hmm. scale Esky Panzer Grenadier. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mr. Matthew Dillon with a 125th scale Ravel 1968 Dodge Dart. Mr. Bjork Gronling with a conversion belt kits 124th scale Ford Fiesta RSWRC. Uh, Mr. Dan Edmonds with a 124th Tamiya Opal Calibra Cliff. One minute left, Dan. Um, cool. Mr. Justin Porter with a 124th scale Tamiya Lotus 7. Cool. Mr. Clinton Eels with his P51 Egg Plane. Nice uh, Mr. Kieran Ryan with a Tamiya 124th Lancer Evo 7. Uh, Mr. Bap Afwell with his Fuji 124th scale Lopus, Lotus Europa. And Mr. Tony chooses shoes off with his Tamiya 112th scale Yamaha YZR 500. Well done, guys. Put me down for... Uh, Put me down for South Africa Tim for McLaren, please. Mm -hmm. No, put me down for John Stone's Berg Panzer. Yep. Very nice work. Everyone voted. I have, Sam? yes. Yeah. Down, uh, yeah. In three, two, one. Voting ends. Well done, boys. Yeah. All right. We will model through. You can share one. <laughs> I put the screen on, on my uh, iMac and I'm typing on my iPad. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to watch this back to see the chaos. <laughs> Channeling Warwick. Oh, I did well again, Al. Oh. Yeah, really well. It's done by the way. Yeah, I'm standing, standing, standing. Do you want to do your giveaway next, Luke? Yes, mate. Can we? Al, um, can you check your email you put in the chat, dude? Because it's it's not letting it go through to that. <laughs> okay. Um, Stop it. While um, Al's doing that, I can announce the placings. Can I just say before you do, there's an epic name in the chat, somebody called the Drone Ranger. Oh my word, no. Aerial, aerial photography and video, that's a brilliant name. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome, it's quite cropped up, but you know. Anyway, uh, so, having counted the vote, and again, I'm going to say a disappointing number of votes in total. Yeah. Absolutely. But in joint third place, we have Bearded Rifle Model Works with his Syrian Dio. Nice. And the uh, James's 132nd Corsair. Cool. Cool. In second place is Tomcat with his 
Brother Frosticus Space Marine. Excellent. That's a very good. Yeah. And way out in the lead is Banana Man with his Burger Panther. Well done, John. Very nice. Well done, John. You know, you know well, the score by now, John. Uh, the email address, please, buddy, not be straight to the email wherever you want to send him, mate. We'll get that out to you. Well done, mate. Well, He's a bit of a habit this now, isn't he? Right, turn my man. Yeah, yeah. Well done, John. My man did uh, email Tim. He seems to be getting a dab hand at this modeling malarkey. Tim, I'll come in the email. Amended. Fixed. Missed out of 55. Okay, thank you. <laughs> right, so we're going to do a giveaway, and I'll see if I can screen share, which will be a miracle. We'll see. Uh, Luke, I'm going to put the camera on Luke. Smile, Luke. That is a smile. I know. Luke <laughs> <laughs> yeah. cool. has very, very kindly donated the Tamiya Mitsubishi Evo Lancer 6. The road car, which is a great kit, I built that. It's lovely. Uh, Thanks, very kind of All you've got to do to win that is wait in, in the chat until you're prompted by uh, Sh uh, Sparky. Uh, Sparky. 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 <laughs> Roland, Roland made a mistake and called him Sparky. It's quite funny. Yeah, um, I, mean, I did actually do electronics at college. Well, there you go. And hey. I was an electrician. Yeah. Um, fun fact. Um, <laughs> <laughs> thanks for sharing that channel. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, um, wait for John to say uh, start your numbers now. Pick one number from one to a thousand. After five minutes, we'll close it. Norm's going to share his number thing in a minute. And um, oh, John, you're a you're a star. And um, closest person to the number wins that kit. It's as simple as that. Are you ready, boys? Hold on a second. We're ready? Are you sure? Ready? Oh, I'll just show this first. I'll refresh the page. So I'm on live chat. Yeah, that is the thing. Make sure you're all on live chat rather than top chat. Yeah, I always am. Top chat. Live chat. And then I'm I've got a charge. Yeah, when you're ready, boys. And we will begin your votes in three numbers. Sorry, we're giving you numbers in three, <laughs> two, one. Start your numbers. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, yeah, one number, one number only. Don't put two in or change your number because you get disqualified. One number. And John Stone's very kind donated his goodie back to Motor Heroes. You'll start oh, John. 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 Nice one, John. Oh, yeah. Nice one, but we've got a nice bit of a collection now to go, which is good. Well done. Tell you what, there's a lot more numbers and votes, though, isn't there? Yeah, weirdly, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Disappointing. I'm not angry, I'm just disappointed. Yes, exactly. <laughs> was it just me or was it that one I got home? Oh, <laughs> did, do, uh, did you get that out? Yeah, I've got it, thanks. It's just, it's, it's going to be complex, but we'll go with it. Sure, you'll see how that, see how that goes. I'm not too sure how, how well that's going to work, but we can try. Is it laughs at the ready? Hey? Is it going to be laughs at the ready? Um... <laughs> We'll see how well it works on our computer. Four minutes, folks. Oh, through, the week, through the week, I'll have a look at this and see if we can find anything. Mm. I want to say, I'm, I'm good to that. I finally got my MacBook sorted out, and then the Hangout itself <laughs> is playing up. If not, we'll have to like, draw everyone's models. Oh, I'll, bring, <laughs> I'll bring the slate home from work. <laughs> 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 we'll treat it like a blackboard. Oh, dear. <laughs> Just print them all out, Dan, and hold them up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, a, I'll make a flip book for next week. Oh, hang on. Way, hang on. I will put the post up on Tuesday-ish, but I won't be here Friday. I will be on my jollies. Okay. But I will be back the following Friday. Well, yeah, I'll be at home at least. Don't forget the mini sombrero this time, okay? Um, hey, it's bigger than that. Don't forget to put the cream on. Three oh, minutes. I've three already, minutes. I've already packed the cream, Sam. <laughs> yeah, I'm the, I'm the budgie smuggler. <laughs> Can I see a picture. <laughs> I'll say, I'll, I'll send everybody a good picture. Yay! Yay. Can I have one specially for the live show? No. Oh, go on. I've still got the other one, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, what's your wife's surname again? 
<laughs> oh, that nearly answered then. I nearly got them all, yeah. Oh, dear. I nearly got sucked in. Who was it? Oh. Interesting. Oh, dear. I'm not going near that one. I would say this has gone in a completely different direction this week, hasn't it? Yeah. I'm more than weekend. You still awake, Chunk? What? Are you still awake? Still having, still having technical difficulties. Ah. <laughs> Have you tried switching it off? Going switching it back on again. <laughs> 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 what about have you given it the old what? technical tap where you just get a slightly harder slap than what you would your kid? It's like it's like a softer kid, uh, it's like no oh, dear me. <laughs> Tim's just got a really <laughs> right, roll, roll close the mouth quick. Um <laughs> Rublu says Dan won't be here next week, he's off in on a boy band reunion. Yeah, <laughs> are, are you topping up your time with that light? <laughs> Uh, no, this light is technically not that bad. To be fair, it's just glare off at camera because we're so close. I'm in. I'm in. What? What am I in? I'm in three foot by two foot, but, and I'm moving into a twenty-five foot long cave soon. Hopefully, you'll be sat huddled in one corner of it. I won't. <laughs> we'll like Isn't it funny that in the uh, the chat for the numbers that we don't get many voting, but. There's an awful lot of surnames there with women's names at the front that look very familiar. Yeah. Mm. Is there? Yeah. Oh. Well, I'm glad my missus hasn't got the same name as me. I know. <laughs> 30 seconds, folks. You've got 30 seconds. Do you know what I noticed? We are actually having a longer delay with using this Jitsi through YouTube. Yeah, probably. Hang We're on. going through uh, two things now, aren't we? Yeah, it's like half a second delay now. Now, I wonder if uh, YouTube video sharing will work. Because oh, would it be all that difficult to make a slideshow on video? On YouTube. Uh, Tim. In three, two, one. Number stop. Um... Just thinking ahead. Yeah, and, share you, and what and share the YouTube video on here. Yeah. We, we, I can try and share a YouTube video on here in a minute and see if and see if that link works. Yeah. Um, at least we know which, which way we need to go. Just share one of ours, the ISM, so there's no copyright issues. Oh, okay. Or, or, or we could all get hello, Tim's desk London. <laughs> no, it's not that difficult on iMovie Tim to just chuck pictures. No, 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 yeah, yeah. no, no. If it if it works that way, then I don't mind doing that at all. We could do that with everything. We could do that with dance section. We'd have to do a cut off of dance section earlier. My that uh, keynote can play. I can leave it. I can hit it to play, and it just start working anyway, sort of thing. And I'm quite yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, catch it out. Oh, she, with Grammarly, oh. you can find really good. Didn't it cost his thing a tenner? <laughs> Can I just it, say, it, Grammarly, I hate that Grammarly advert. Oh, it's on every yeah. single YouTube video I watch. Yeah. Yeah. If the creators yeah. of Grammarly are, da- are watching, you're worse than the devil. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say he's talking for all of us. Yeah. 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 Nuts. That's all I hear. Grammarly. Grammarly. Right, so if we go well, share... Oh. Yeah, Ken, Ken's got an idea there as well about bypassing the share screen on this using maybe Manicam or something. Yeah, we'll have to have a look at me. Am, am I playing your beautiful face right now? No. What you connected, Tom? No, you're having connectivity issues. So, okay, so, that's... so, Tim, what did you do to do that? Did you click the share YouTube link in here? Yes. I know. I clicked on the bottom left corner, which is share your screen. No. So, if you click on bottom right and you, you can share. What, YouTube the, video, the three dots, yeah, and yeah, and then it gives you the lit place to put a link. Um, shit. oh, okay, yeah. not seen that before. Oh, yeah, you know I mean? yeah. Yeah. all right, so let me try doing that. Hang on, uh, uh copy, go there, go there, okay, go paste, go share. So, okay, so I'm playing your video now. It's up there, yeah. 
And you can uh, all right. Also, you can see that, yeah. 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 See me as well. Uh, no. No. Okay. So, no. do you know what is weird? It's still showing my picture yeah, sure. of me, which is quite interesting. Okay. Yeah, that's clear. Well, well, that's not a. Uh, that's not too bad a way to do it. Right. Well, there's one option, but yeah, Kev saying bypass it and use. Um... Oh, who's a handsome chap? Oh, he's so sexy. He's looking a bit belly. He's looking a little bit homeless and a little bit scruffy, though. I must. Could be worse. It could look like a nineties teenage throwback. <laughs> nah, you need to get a haircut. That's what he's saying. You're right. <laughs> right. Okay, so that works. You can okay. Cool. Cool. That's good. Uh, now, how do I stop sharing that? that? No, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you are on screen still. I'm still here. Yeah, that's down the bottom point. Yeah. Ah. Uh, so now I think you can kick the video, I guess. Stop moving around because that's really getting annoying. Stop <laughs> it! <laughs> oh, you... Let's stab you in the eye with a... <laughs> Click on the video link again, it'll stop it. So, yeah, we're going to have to try a third-party share screen thing because this is obviously playing up. Right, oh, anyway, have, have we ended the numbers? Yeah, we have. Right, so we need to pick a number, yeah? Yeah. Yep. Okay, Let's see if I can share screen and do this. Now, hang on. There's three options, though, when we share a screen as well, isn't there? Mm-hmm. You can click on your screen. Yeah, it's, uh, see, I normally just share entire one because it's... Yeah. Is that sharing? Yes. Yep. Yes. Is it working? Yeah. Yep. yeah it is. Moment. Wow. Right. I'm going to click this once right now. Oh, hang on. <laughs> oh, hang on. There we go. <laughs> I'm going to click it while it works. The wee number. <laughs> hang on. It's not 10 because it didn't put a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> right. Ignore oh, 10. I put the right numbers in now. This is the winning number. So, as always, you two people to pick the same number. The first person to pick it wins. And if you think there's one, please don't shout it out because these guys will check it. I want to know the winner, they'll let you know. So, the winner number four, that beautiful kit donated by Luke, is 547. Right. Five, <coughs> uh, Gary, yes, the McLaren that comes up on the starter page. Yeah, I made that. The Fujimi McLaren uh, and the bike as well. That's my RC213. Uh, 211. So, that screen shared okay then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, Tim. Yes. When you sc screen share. <coughs> yes. When do you can do application window? <coughs> if I do that, what does that share? That just shares. Hang on up. I'm back. That's the bugger enough. <laughs> Swipe the wrong way. So I'm just wondering if you screen share the application window. Right. Does that just stay on here? Or does that move? It's staying on the screen. How about now? That's the numbers generator, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Right, but it doesn't change to that. Change to that. No, it hasn't, it no, hasn't gone to my home screen, no? No, still on numbers generator. Right, okay. Right, so how did I do that? Dan, try something for me. Yes. Open uh, the forum up on Chrome. Yeah. The on the same tab as the Jitsi Meet. And this, is, and this is the annoying thing. It only happens when you're live. And yeah. You know, to fault find this while we're live. Yeah. It's so damn annoying. See you, mate. Take care, mate. Um, well, what, what do you want me to do now? Right. So click screen share. Yep. But click application window. Oh, and, right, yeah. And then click on the window where it says Jitty Meet. So you click on that now. <coughs> And then click share. Yeah. And then if I click four, and what does that do? I'm trying to find you first. Where are you? Right now, go to the screen. Are you on there? It's gone again. 
Oh, is it gone? Yeah, it's gone. Ah. Right, so we need a third. We need a third. We need a third. Uh, oh, all right. So we got any uh, news on the winnie yet now? Yeah, we're pretty, right. not pretty much there. Yeah, I'd say. Yeah, I think we're pretty much. Uh, uh, Gary, Gary, there's no video of it. Sorry, mate. No, there's pictures up on ISM though of it when I was building it. It's a nice kit, that, actually. <coughs> yes, we'll, we'll have a look through the week. We'll get this problem rectified. If not, we'll be showing everything by brass ribbons. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring the crayons. Yeah, thanks for pointing out the obvious, Brian. We, we kind of get that. Is Brian being ever so helpful? The, the problem is, these encoders cost money. Yes. And they're not cheap, some of them, and they're a pain in the backside to work. So, uh, yeah. Fingers crossed this will start working again. Just don't need someone to chat going, they don't have any problems with their shows like you're having. Uh, yeah, thanks. I feel like Brian coming on. Hello, Doug. <laughs> Good. 130 watching, only 33 likes. Good I know. Yeah. Your, your like button's not working. Come on, peeps. The more likes you get, the more interaction we get. Yeah, it's a thumb up. Box. Oh, yeah, I know. Brian. <laughs> New <Number> before <one>. rent. <laughs> hey. You want Levette tomorrow? Yeah. No. I'll take Warwick for you if you want. He's already been, mate. Oh, has he been? Yeah. Did he get deloused? Six months he gets paid. <laughs> <laughs> he's going back for more steroids. He looks like Arm Schwarzenegger now. Oh, sorry. Before it all completely goes to pot, um, Drawing for Luke's wonderfully generate uh, generated generated. I didn't generate <laughs> donated <laughs> generated. Uh, yeah, generously donated. That's what ah. I was uh, Sammy and Mitsubishi Lancer Evo six was it the road car seven? Yeah, six. Seven. six sorry, it's a six. Oh, six and a bit. Yeah. So the number we drew was five four seven. And the closest to that was Simon P with 558. Five, well done, Simon. Well done. Well done, well done. Nice kid. Yeah, Simon, if you email me your address to ismprizeclaim at gmail.com, it's in the description of the video. You click on that, it's in the description of all the ISM videos. I'll forward it to Luke. And I will get that in the post to you. I think Simon lives in Australia. <laughs> no, I don't know where he lives. I've got no idea where he lives. Trust me, we had nearly had one winner who was totally on the other side of the world oh. so you're you're quite cl lucky there yeah i had one lose in a 48 hour belt didn't i paul mm -hmm. you did did the swearing cost you more than the postage yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> cost me like something like 41 pound for that kit to get posted when you add in the swearing front <laughs> Sam doesn't. Where does he? No, I know. Uh, Sometimes. Uh. Simon says thank you and he's in the UK. So, uh, super. Uh, sh should I attempt um, doing the what we've been buying section? You should try. Uh, give it a go, sure. sure. I'll try. Oh, typing on the iPad. <laughs> typing on the iPad again. Yeah, I'm typing on the iPad again. Oh, I'm ra randomly drawing, drawing numbers now. <sighs> Right. Dying that dog. Right, come on then. I'm, I'm up for a laugh. Al? Yeah, my <laughs> toes crossed. Not want to stand by, Al. Standing <laughs> by. Right. Is that sharing? It is. Yes. 
Still ah. sharing? Still sharing? Yeah. 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 Okay, right. Fair so, right. let's see how long it lasts. Steve's got some UMP cleaner, Badger Reg Dab, along with Tammy Thinner, Retarder, 12 Tammy LP paints, and Sweeties. And he says, very quick right. service as always. Ah, oh, thank you, Steve. Yep. That's Good right. Day. Have fun, mate. That um, lube's uh, not very good, though, isn't it? Hey, so that lube's not very good. <laughs> <laughs> it's very good. Ignore Luke. That's it. I'm going. Uh, Matt's back. He's uh, still getting back to modeling. So he's got a couple of cheap hits to get himself going with. Nice. Uh, uh, in case you he got Tamiya's 124th Nissan 300ZX Turbo <laughs> and a Mitsubishi GTO. And he's also bought some MRP Metallics nah. and some metal. Uh, oh, MRP 2K. And metal lacquers to try out. Superb. Just totally unlinked. Of I've heard that Nissan are bringing back the 300 ZX. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Very cool. Nice. Um, <laughs> uh, Chunks had another UMP delivery. Very nice. Hey, nice. Seven days. Nice. Yeah, you got to ride to Australia in seven days. Superb. Mm -hmm. Australia. Got a nice assortment. Oh, there's a theme. Dan Edmonds got a UMP uh, delivery as well. Super oh, quick yeah. delivery. Thank you. And so our super duper post is Lady Hannah. He does an amazing job. Yep. Amazing. Um, and he bought some Winsor Newton Series 7s. Oh, and, uh, lovely brushes. Yeah, oh, very and nice. A Sparmax TC 620X compressor. Sweet. Nice. Very nice. Nice one, Dan. Mr. McNeish has bought a Matchbox A5D Sky Raider. Box art cool. Yeah. Very really cool. And um, a new keyboard. Uh -huh. Why did you buy the keyboard, Al? <coughs> well, read it. <laughs> Thanks. His keyboard stopped working this week, so we bought a new one and then realized the old one was switched off. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Well done, Al. Well done. Yeah. Takes up bad, <laughs> See, Tim, he's got a print screen key, hasn't it, Al? So, yeah, Tim, yeah, yeah. Tim, for some reason, has got this thing. It's cool. Yeah, look at the size of it, a meter long. It's huge. Oh, that's wow. Wild. If you build that, Tim, I'll eat it. Hey? <laughs> if you build that and complete it, paint it, and everything, I'll, I'll eat it. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's that's not really a, a, want, a thing to make you want to finish it, is it? I don't know. <laughs> and there's a picture of something. That's it. That was it. Yeah. Wow. That's, so cool. That's amazing, that. <laughs> it's cool. Oh, cool. It's it. an excavator. It's a yeah. it's a bucket wheel. It's uh I thought it was a jungle gym. Excavator is what it's name name known as. Yeah. See what okay. in. Uh Charles Stellini was at AME model exhibition last weekend and picked up these two kits. So an SC, oh dear, uh, cricket. Cricket. I cricket. I, I'm going with cricket. cricket. Yeah. Oh. And the venerable Focker Wolf 190 from Tammy. Very cool. That's nice. Cool box uh, art. I've not shared anything this week because I was miserable. I couldn't be bothered. Yeah. Um, what the hell? Uh, Scott picked up another bomber. What are we looking at? Oh, I see. Uh, cool. Stratojet he owns six of the nine aircraft in his flight record. That's cool. That's nice. I like it. It's different, yeah. Wow. Cool looking plane there. Yeah. yeah. Lovely. Uh, Tony Davis um, Tony. working his way back into the hobby. He's picked up a bunch of supplies as well as a, a what? 103v1. Oh, it's a V1. I see. Uh, to get out small 1144. I think that's it there. Yeah, it's dinky little thing. Oh yeah. my god, look at the size of that. Hit <laughs> job. Wow. <laughs> cool. Nice one, Tom. Mm. I called him Tony a minute ago. Oh, yeah, it's Tom. Yeah. Oh, same thing. <laughs> uh, oh, nice kit. Kev's bought a. Uh, Great little hobby devastating them to a good kit, that isn't it? Yeah, very good kit. That's very good. We zoomed in inadvertently. Using my mouse with my left hand, as you all know, your, your left hand's not quite as good as your right, is it? Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're fine, mate. Good. Uh, he's also bought a Trumpy J20. 
That's yeah, cool. That's a nice little kit, that one. Yeah, very cool. Oh, that is nice. Yeah, and yeah. he's bought the Siren. Oh, oh that's AKA Kieran. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and 17 jars, 17 jars of Mr. Hobby Paint. As you do. Lovely stuff. A walk out. Good old Mick. Yeah. Mick Tynan's bought a Honda and a Sex Arter. Very cool yep. kit, that. Oh, we've got a Hasegawi Focus. Nice. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. I like that lot. Yeah, some low bonnet. We've also bought a detail upset for the ZXRR. Mm -hmm. oh, he's balling here, isn't he? Look at this. Ooh. Balling. Load of aftermarket parts. Yeah, detail on them kits. Oh, has he won the lottery and he's not told us? <laughs> so he's got the uh, MotoGP pit walk books. I don't know where he's got the idea to get these from. Probably my video on YouTube, but you need to go watch. That's a nice collection. Yeah, two of them and nice shoes. <laughs> the old uh, Yami Wiser RM 104. Very cool kit. And Tamiya your tools and forks. Nice. The Wiser R. Some seat belts. Very nice. Tamiya drill. Oh, that's a hard one to find. Yeah. Handy little tool. Yeah, no wonder my kids go lie down, Kev's right. Shocking. And he bought me a massive print as well. He did, he can't a uh, Joey Dunlop print. Yeah, limited number print. Yeah. Absolute madman, but thank you very much, Mike. Very nice. Cheers, John, like at the worst time ever. <laughs> like, sending me stuff. Don't send me messages while I'm screen sharing because I will block you in a heartbeat, trust me. <laughs> and you're doing it on purpose, try me and see what I'm oh, sending it to everyone. Yeah, don't don't well. send me messages while I'm screen sharing, eh? I'll give you a wobble. <laughs> <laughs> My god, that's an old one. Oh dear. Uh Philip Ram's car, Bob Bobbington picked up this from a friend. My god, it's big, but that's the first time you said <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Oh, it's molded in grey. Oh no. <laughs> Lovely. Uh Daniel Blurt. I just bought some goof off. What? Uh, oh. <laughs> Cameo white cleaner, primer, sharpie pens, sparky ones, Monomaster wet look clear, venom rip resistant nitrile gloves. <laughs> 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 yeah. Boy. For your fisting needs. Um, <laughs> 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 You don't want to come off mid glove, do you? You don't want them catching on the ring. Oh, hey! Oh, oh, uh, yeah, very nice car oh, yeah. Copy, Chris. I just assumed that Stan said that. And, uh, <laughs> some um, oh. uh, super glue. Some of them. Be oh. <laughs> careful, them on your gloves. Don't get mixed up with anything else. Oh, yeah. Mr. Beanie's bought HMS hood and trumpeteer. Oh, um, flashing bit. Ooh, flashing yeah, comes with a Mac. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, a nice birthday. Mm -hmm. Oh, good choice that was, Paul. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. good choice. Yeah. What? Well, <laughs> I had nothing to do with this. I don't remember agreeing to buy. Yeah. Oh, that's one I bought for it, Sam. What's up, man? I didn't realize that was the one you were going for. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Well, I was ready to buy mine, and some absolute nutcase messaged me to say they found it cheaper and won't accept any money for it. Oh. Mentioning no names. He's a There's some more out there. Isn't he's, a, he's a bearded gentleman. And he might be a neighborhood. So thank you very much, Luke. You're nutter. I think he's hiding behind that beard, and he definitely should not shave it off ever again. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sam yeah. SU30. Uh, Very nice, Sam. That's cool. That's good. Aaron, so, a 262, which is another great little oh, kit. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they're good kits, they are. Uh, he does support the Vietnam MiG-21. MiG-21. Yeah. Yeah. Fiddly little. It's a, it's a delicate little kit, but it's really good. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Very nice. He does support the Revel Phantom FGR. That's cool. Lovely. Very cool looking aircraft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And some deluxe stuff. 
Where'd you buy that from, Sam? Did he, where did he get that? GMP Retail. Oh, Your one stop no. shop for glues, kits, tape, and stand up paper. Mm. Mr. Challenger's bought a Sky Ray and an Apache. Sky Ray is a good kit. There's always someone that spams the group in a. <laughs> I, I had to send him a reference shot. I thought it'd be quite up. Oh, that's a brilliant yeah. reference shot. Look at that. Above yeah. the table. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Lovely. a deep long bush. <laughs> we need yeah. to be on some bushes, Tim. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. anyway, anyway, Luke's bought a Super Stallion. Oh. Very cool looking kit. You bought two of them, it's not fair. Wow. You also bought the pay, cool. Pavlo, is it? Yeah, yeah. No. Jenny Green. Yeah, with the paper glow resin conversion. Yeah. Yeah, that's two letters away from being a postcode around here, though. <laughs> it is, yeah. It is. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. That's nice. Yeah, I'll tell you what, it's unfair, these people that bid on all these auctions. I know. Yeah. Yeah. No consideration. You see them send them a complaint and moan like a little bitch. Yeah. <laughs> um, another Sea King. Very cool. That's good, isn't it? That's a yeah. snub one to one, isn't it? Yeah. Did I swap on I think so, yeah. It's a baggy. Do it with the dome deflated wheels down. Mm. Yeah. There you go. Uh, Mr. David Powell, um, aka Through the Pooh, has uh, got a snowball. <laughs> snowball That's scary. Oh, yeah, got the name wrong. It's True to Spring. Uh, uh. Um, yeah, he's bought Snowball Mike. He's just bought an awful cut out in a circle temple from watching my videos. Well done, Dave. Through the poop. <laughs> <laughs> um, like a bad version of uh, Through the Keyhole, isn't it? <laughs> through the Arthole. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Anyway, let's oh. move on. Move on. Move on with the Chinese. Moving on. We're moving on. Yeah. Um, so Baff's bought a four four trans. We'll end up in the back of there if we carry on. Four trans for Tillery. Very yeah. cool. And the MGB okay. from Airshima. Another cool kit. <laughs> Stop laughing. It's not funny. <laughs> Grow up with you. Grow. Uh, Baff's also bought sixteen seven nine two eight. Wow. Did I, I, did love, I love those. Oh, Hey, is that totally new? That's not totally new, is it? It might be. I don't oh. know, mate. And I love the 928, and I know you do too. It's a good little good. Oh, we got like a couple, a couple of sitting at work around. Yeah, the it's one of the nicest looking Porsches. That it's it's it. a 911, obviously. Oh, check that out. Yeah, go Google that, Tim. I'll do, do, do. I'm pretty sure that is new out, Matt. When I stick it in your section, I will try and stick it in my section if I could. Oh dear, one sixteenth. Yeah, it's hmm. good. It's good size. Yeah, as long as it's a decent kit, I build it, man. I've always been proud of it. Did you do a turbo 928? Uh, yeah. It's probably. Yeah. I don't know if I did a 924 and a 944 turbo. That's cool. No, no, three. The nine, 926 is a turbo. You do 924, 926, 928. 928 is the pop up headlights. Yeah. 24 is the little four cylinder. 26 is the, I think, the turbo version then. Could be wrong with that. He's also bought a poacher alpha, which is really cool. That is really that is really damn damn cool. Expensive, right? paid a really good price in there going for big one. That's a yeah. cool kit that that was So cool. Very nice. They're prop they're proper poacher kits, the old school poacher kits they are. Ooh, and a Merc as well. Ooh, mm -hmm. Oh nice. And that's the one with all the 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 chrome pipe work that goes out the goes out the hood. Oh, yeah. out to, oh. So he's got the Merc five hundred at K. Cabriolet, yeah. 1935. Very nice. Very styling. Very, very cool. And that's it. We got through it all. Oh, well done. Yeah. Have, a, have a look at that and see if that's a new kit. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, traditionally, a Revel 1980s kit. Nope. Uh, I must say, though, the first one it came out was the Porsche 928 <coughs> Rally. <laughs> it just looks ridiculous. Um, and then, then the second one was not great. So it's had new decals. There's nothing new about it. It's an old kit. It's an old kit. You know what builds up like that? Yeah, probably, probably all right. Bap should give it to you to do an inbox review. Oh, he, yeah. he shouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Why not, Tim? Welcome to Tim's desk lander. Um, 
<laughs> and there we are. So we can screen share. Just not all of us. No, that was good. Oh, no, I wonder, let me have a little look. See what jitsy way I've got of... Uh... Is there any way of loading it up somewhere, like on Google? It's going to be something simple, isn't it? I'm not blowing my background. Last time that made me crash. I wonder what... I wonder what... I wonder what... Do anything to... uh, document. What's the open shit? Oh, hang on. It's always... Uh oh Oh, they have hit a button that shouldn't, I shouldn't have. I wonder what happened if we all turned the cameras off and just left Tim's on. Probably the same, I reckon. Oh, God. What have I done now? <laughs> I don't know, but in about four minutes, he's going to scare the living crap out of me telling us we're going off air. <laughs> no. no, isn't it three hours now? It does it. Yeah. So there we go. We still got Tim's bits to look at, yeah. <laughs> or oh, and a giveaway to do. And um, everyone, watch Sam have a drink. I can say the wife made that up, and I think she's half a bottle of Robinson's on it. Oh, that's a It's rather strong. But it's nice. Bit of bulk in there, you laughing. Until it bumped me off, I think. Right. Well, that, that's currently sharing now. Yep. Let's go through it really quick. There's that. There's this is out. That's coming. This is done to you. <laughs> <laughs> well, let, let, me leave, let me leave that for a minute and see what's. So instead of sharing the full screen, I've selected to only share this. Okay. And is it is it still working? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. cracking. So uh, these are the three gigolos. Uh -huh. <laughs> Triplets, sexy yeah. looking fellas. Oh, I'm telling well, you, the one, one of you makes you look like Frankenstein. Which one? The one of you. Uh, you reckon? <laughs> yeah, you look like Frankenstein now. Oh. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Uh, I, was get, I was trying to get Al when he was smiling. I tell you that, that was harder than uh yeah. All right. Why is it yeah. the chat we're looking at Al when I'm watching the feed and I can see <laughs> that Daryl says it's the Leo Sayer trio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well it's still working, Tim. Brilliant. Okay, we'll crack on then. Let's go on, do it. Let's do it to it. Do it, let's do it, let's do it. Do it, do it, do it. Uh on, I know that you've all been wondering and thinking, I need some new figures for a diorama. Well, I found them. Mm. I have no idea if this is actually what you should get, right? But it's strange. A company called Hat Industries, 162, Moorish. Are we still looking at the, still the, the trail? Trousers? Oh. Move your mouse. That's my mouse, not yours. <laughs> Are you moving around, Tim? Because everyone else stay I've, on the screen. I've changed, I've changed just yeah. Yeah, I've got the three amigos. Yeah. yeah. Oh. As Tony says, the three five. Now, right? now it's moved. Yeah. Now it's moved. Yeah. 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 What the hell? Just a massive delay. Well, no. I'll, okay. I'll, does it? All right. What about now? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So if I hit play are you seeing a full screen picture yeah 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 what about now still the same yeah yeah okay so it's not showing the next slide which is, is now is now yeah which is a bit weird but you just click a thumbnail as long as you can manually okay. go through it don't worry about yeah, it I, I haven't worked out yet how to get rid of this window over here which is a bit annoying but hey nah, don't worry about it as long yeah. as you can see this we'll work, we'll work. No, so no, these no, are actual fine. figures I have no idea, but I wish they were. That'd be really cool. I have no idea. <laughs> the more cavalry sampler. <laughs> what are they, are they for? I could, honestly, I see them on there. I was like, what are they? I'm, I'm guessing they're going to be some kind of samples. <laughs> <laughs> Lee, was it? I think for seven pounds, I need to buy them and find yeah, them. Like, there's one saying they're Russian dolls. Well, they do look like Russian right? dolls. Just uh -huh. off the Arab. Like people. Yeah, there would be. They'd all go into each other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dan. That's, that's another head of man moment. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> Move on. Quickly. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, moving on. Anyway, proper random $6.99. <laughs> $7, $9. Uh, I haven't got a clue what they are, but then they weird. Anyway, moving on to something rather cool. Um, so HK Models have uh, announced they're doing a 148B17. It looks wow. like they've downscaled a lot of their 132 part and uh, slightly adjusted it for a 148 build. Um, good looking G, so it's got the front chin gun, which does look really good in those. Virtuous models, cheapest place I've found so far to get them. £100, €112, Euros, $123 on that. And if they're looking good, I'm definitely going to grab one. Be massive though, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, it's smaller than the 132 ones. It's a good time, though. That's nice to be fair. Yeah. Hey? It's good that they're doing it in 48. It's still a good size, but it's not stupidly yeah. big. I've always looked at the 30 seconds and thought, I'd love to have it. It's just too big. And I'm like, well, 48. It's still, it, you know, it's, it's still going to be big, but mm. it's going to look size is 72. Yeah. Uh, so you get full interior, Bombay, all the turrets, all the guns. Uh, what so what you do get the front, the cockpit top, this whole top section, ball turret there, that is a detachable section. So you oh. can leave that off. So you can look into the cockpit and see oh, ra rear radio gear area, but you can't see the bombs because there's a cover over it. That's cool. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Full rear interior, rear gun, other lot. So yeah, well, uh, hundred for hundred quid, that's yeah. quite a good little kit to buy. Oh, okay. Um, coming out from Trump, said they got a BTR one five two for your little Russian fans. Nice, yeah, that's cool. Good. Uh, ICM have got a Moscovich four hundred one four Soviet passenger car. Cool. Future yep. body build. It's this future speed build, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, doubtful. Yeah. Uh, nice look. Nice looking little. Uh, nice looking little model that one. Yeah, nice cool. look. Looks good. Um, from wing nuts, they've got a load of little bits and bobs coming out. Uh, here we have they're doing a special release uh, of the Fokker D7F version. Uh, now there's been quite a hoo ha with the um, with the from mainly from a single country complaining that they're making a model of Herman Goring, and you can imagine which country they're coming from. Uh, having a right old rant about it, it's like, well, yeah, but he's still part of history, you can't just wipe him out from mm -hmm. it just because of what happened later on. This is as well, War One, this is a different era. Um, so yeah, so it's Herman Goring's D7F, which is all white, which to be honest, isn't the most interesting looking one. But... So all out of the back, all white, all white. All white. All white. <laughs> what the front, and you've got a snipe, we'll oh, snipe, snipe. Uh, and this is this is going to be William Barker's. You get the figure again, uh, and you get the snipe. Now they are boots. They mm -hmm. are the proper boots, aren't they? Yeah. Cool looking figure, that isn't it? You could, nearly, you could virtually call them kinky boots. Uh, they're, yeah. they're, they're like taking arseless chaps a step further. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus yeah. I mean, you know, if you pull them up a little bit high, you keep your nuts warm. <laughs> you know, you know, they'll get in there eventually. <laughs> well, on yeah, Look, it looks very nice. Look, nice little box in e model, oh, eighty nine euros, ninety nine dollars. That's actually a good price. That is. Yeah, they, they these reboxings, I think, are actually very well priced for for what they are. Uh, so the wing that wings. This is a new release. Uh, the pup gnome version uh, from Vectors Models is now in stock. Seventy pounds, seventy nine euros, eighty six dollars on that. Very cool. Uh, we got some figures from Masterbox. I showed these. A little while ago, but they are now out there to buy. You've got definitely out there, hey, definitely out there. Yeah, we nipple, Batman. yeah, we got boobies, <laughs> we've got a predator looking guy, and we got two army. <laughs> no, the wrong ones, and hey, we've uh... got <laughs> Master Box pounds, <laughs> 13 euro, 15, 14 dollars. <laughs> Me. Different kind of predator, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Holy nipples, oh. hey. And oh, oh. There we, go. we have got uh Kinetics Gold Series F104G, the Luftwaffe Starfighter, oh, uh, fast raft decals, um, 
good looking little kit. Uh, Veterans Models, cheapest place you can get that one. £36, €40, Euros, $45 for that. Uh, I'm going to hold out for. Oh, hello. What's that? Oh, oh. what's that? No, it's that How did that happen? Oh, oh. No. Ooh. What? what was that? Anyway, oh. um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to hold out for the uh, German, uh, the American version. Of I'd hold out. Let somebody build it first. Yeah. yeah. Also, that. I haven't seen many people building that one. Um, now these aren't anything new, but they are restocks of old kits that have pretty much gone out of uh, production availability. Uh, Kinetics uh, EA six B Prowler, yeah. which is quite a cool aircraft. It's funky looking, yeah. four seater, uh, ele electronics warfare. Um, e models thirty pound, thirty four euro, thirty seven dollars. Good price for a kit that can go up to go up quite expensive, and also in the bulk height. Which can get quite expensive. Because this isn't a great price. If you hunt around, you might find it better out there. Uh, S six one forty eight, E two C all car E model sixty pounds, sixty seven euros, seventy four dollars on that. It's a good looking little plane. Like mm, yeah, people in a prop. Um, new kit. Well, kits coming out from Reach models. The Universal Carrier Wasp Mark two C. This is the version with the flamethrower in there. Yeah, it's the same base kit as the uh, all, all universal uh, carriers are all, all, all the same, just different variants. Bronco, yeah, Bronco, 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 Bronco on the next one, yeah. Yeah. Owens, Bronco, don't they? All the other way around, yeah, it's either way around, but they're pretty much the same company. Uh, and that's works are going to be doing their trailer from their recent kit release as just a single standalone unit, cool. a, a diorama. Yeah. Uh, same for John. Uh, this is Space Marines uh, pro Primar Primaris. Primaris Invicta. Tactical suit, uh, which, I say, does look quite cool. Yeah. It's a bit like uh, the Aliens uh, Sigourney Weaver's loader. loader. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah. It's basically a dreadnought, but without the fact that the guy has to be dead before he can drive it. Yeah. I must say, John, you've always got a happy note to bring to every situation. Uh, well, it's, you know, we'll Warhammer 40,000, Grim Dark. Okay, cool. There's, there's nothing nice in Warhammer 40k. No, oh, okay. So, yeah. Moving on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Mini Arts 135 Avro Rota uh, Mark 1 Breakfast Models, £40, pound, £45, US, $50 on that one. And there's a guy actually doing a build. On one of these, on the on the Facebook page, isn't there? Where yeah. he chops it all around and moves the position of everything. And he, I must say, that does look really good. It does look really quite cool. Um, next up, man, let me close that door. Oh, that's cool. Ah, Revels one thirty two kiss truck. That'll be shit. Yeah, we'll be shit. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I'll you that. I'll guarantee you that nothing will fit on that. And and it is just, yeah, it'll be all twisted, and they're it's, just dinging you for a load of money. This is more of a warning. They, they're really old kits. Yes, they're not big. It's a thirty seconds, and it's not clever. <laughs> no, <laughs> uh, <laughs> end of the road. Uh, I, I'll be honest. Yeah. And those decals are going to be a nightmare on that trailer. Yeah. Uh, yeah, some paints and a really bad paintbrush and some glue. The glue is the bonus in this. Yeah. Yeah. That's good glue. That's the, the paintbrush will probably be all right. It's not one of those terrible double-ended things. Good, yeah. No, no one wants a double-ended. Let's <laughs> stay <laughs> the double-ended thing. <laughs> Steve, can have double-enders? Yeah. Same. Good, good to know for the future. Uh, yeah, actually, the, the paints, glue, and brush is the bonus in this. And, yeah. and, you, get a, and you don't get a double-ender. So uh, it's all good. From Mini Art, we've got the M three A five. Move that up over there. M three A five Lee, which is in the British version because of the type of gun it's got on there with the big counterweight on there. Okay, cool box art, isn't it? it I would say their, their box art's always very good. Beautiful. Looking, isn't it? Yeah, Mini Art is great. That's a good looking tank as well. Um, Border models one thirty five Leopard two. A very good modern, good looking modern tank. That one e models 54 pounds, 60 euros, 67 dollars. On that, cool looking. 
Um, some more coming out from e-models. What they've done, the D5 Albatross, which is now completely out of production, they're doing a whole load of more boxings. Now, every single one of these boxings has got a sheet of decals. The sheet of decals are the ones that they sold as extra sets of decals. Um, so all they've done is they've, give, they've given you the extra set of decals and they've put in a kit with it. Hmm. So you can go. So I'll, I'll be honest. I'll be looking at these ones, thinking the Albatross, the Bavari Bavarians, is quite a nice looking boxing out of that lot, and it's always quite nice to get the decals in there. So they're probably going to be about the eighty quid, the same as F ones, which is quite nice. Um, and then that's the sort of finishes you get on there. Nice little box art and stuff. Oh, that bomb blue one's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's nice. I love the the tail on that one. Very oh, good. good. Very nice. You just got to, just got to be happy to do some woodwork. On these because these were all made of wood. Some you like coming out from... Hey, you like your wood? I do like some wood. Uh, some news coming out from Japan they're doing a Tamiya Toyota GR Supra kit. Oh, nice. I don't like that car, though. It's just a BMW, <sighs> it's a good looking car. It's a nice looking motor. Mm. I bet the kit's good. Yeah, I bet the kit's great. And give you a, a nicer color, something a bit more. Yeah, just red. Um, um, so the wheels have a chrome piece, and then for the black piece, you've got a piece that's slotted. <laughs> <laughs> just read really the comments. Can you just adjust where you're buffing, Luke? It looks a bit dodgy on camera. Oh dear, Luke. Um, so you, yeah. you have two sets of rims? No. Nope. Oh, oh, it's an insert to go over the top. Yeah. That slides in so you can paint them separately. That's quite good. Yeah, good idea. Mm. Good bit of uh, usual Tamiya brains being used within a kit. It's just nice. Yeah, it's definitely better than trying to mask it. Exactly that. Uh, the ICM 148 B26 Invader from ICM. Yeah. Very um, very cool looking old yeah. like that. I'd be but if I could be bothered building an aircraft, I'd get one. Mm. Uh, Ventures models 43 pounds, 48 euros, 53 dollars. Not a bad price because that still be quite a big plane, yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty good size, though. yeah. And uh, it's so well armed. I've realized it's got six guns in the wing, and how many in the front? Eight, eight, eight. in the front, then you've got two yeah. the rear top turret, and then you've got ones at the bottom. That's a mighty defensive plane, that one. Yep. And that was a prototype, mate. Is that a prototype? Yeah, so they actually, yeah, it's accurate copy of a prototype. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. um, from Edward, they're doing a different version of the MiG-23 uh, MiG BN. Loads of different graphics and decals for this one, which looks quite cool. Uh, Vectors model, 64 euros, 71 dollars, uh, 79 71 euros, 79 dollars. Well, that is the right decal scheme. It's cool as hell, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> is, there, is that a boar's mouth? Uh, it looks something like that, doesn't it? Yeah, oh, that's so cool. Alligator, something like that. Yeah. That is an alligator. Fine. Yeah. What would they do? A mask and set for it? <laughs> Mustang P fifty one D five from Edward. Uh, this from Vectors was thirty two pound thirty six euros thirty nine dollars. On that one, I'm waiting till they do a European version of it. But saying that, I could do one for the European. Do you mean Pacific? Uh, Pacific. Pacific yeah. <laughs> I mean, they'll be doing a Pacific version for that one at some point. Is that specific about that? I, I want to be very specific about that one. <laughs> really small front screen on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little view, little viewing. Yeah, because that's just framing. This is for looking, isn't it? Mm. Um, so mini art are going to be doing the B type military omnibus. Um, that's one for you, Tim. Yeah, I am quite sure within the near future you'll be seeing the London bus version of this one coming out with all the passengers and stuff from mini art. Um, it's that we're replacing very happily replacing the old airfix kit. Uh, and that will look brilliant. I wonder if they do the pigeon carrying version. I'm pro probably quite sure they will. You know, <laughs> no um, mini art, yeah. Yeah, no mini art, they probably will, which would be quite cool. cool. 
Um, from Model Factory Hero or MFH, just for you, gone. No. <gasps> you oh, Ray's it. quitting. Rage in the page. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are in the know because some of you know that you know. In the <laughs> Uh, they've got versions A, B, C, and D coming out of the front, uh, Porsche 908, I believe that. I thought I had it in the text there, but it's not there. It's a Porsche 908, uh, which is a Can-Am series racer. Uh, so you've got a Photographia, 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 and the Nürburgring 1000. Tubular cell with an engine on the back. Yep. Not much more than going fast in that thing. Mm. I bet that was that was a quite a ride in that thing, wasn't it? Yeah, they used to call that in the nine one seven the widow makers. Well, I'm not surprised. I mean, you crash in that, and there's nothing to stop. Well, you. yeah, you're, you're you're just dying, isn't you? Yeah, you're wiped. You're mm -hmm. gone. Yeah, very cool looking girl. Um, and as ever, if one Ooh. company releases something, the other one comes along and does the same. So uh, AMK, well, hang on a minute. AMK have announced yeah. doing the 104. <laughs> in about five years, you'll probably see. Maybe, if you're lucky. Possibly. I mean, it, AMK's release rate is just atrocious. They really need to bring out that Buccaneer. Are we ever going to see that? Uh, that's not them, Tim. That's Tam Models. <gasps> I knew that. That's Tam Models are bringing out Buccaneer. We, won't, we might never see that either. Fucking hell. Buc Where's your buccaneers? Aren't you bucking head? It's the small things in life, isn't it? <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> well, that's what I keep getting told. It's Tim gone. Uh, He's trying to tell the kids to be politely quiet. <laughs> Shut up! Oh. <laughs> yeah, sound farmer, Hannant. Look for Hannon's for decals. We've got loads. Silent Farter. Yeah, far. That's not Sam. No, that's definitely Yeah, Hannon's do do internet. Do do. Do do do. They do do. They do do. They do do. Don't 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 do you tell me. I'll tell Oh, God. Go on, Tim. Do you, Scouser? That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, calm down. Calm down. You tell me to calm down. You tell him to calm down. You tell him to calm down. Oh, it's shocking, Tim. Isn't it terrible? Uh, uh, got some just got my cockney. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, oh blimey, governor. I can do... <laughs> I can do proper London cockney, isn't it, bro? Actually, it's more, more like gangster company, isn't it? Oh, Tim, you can't go off gangster, mate. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Um, teenage terror, right? <laughs> teenage terror. Uh, uh, anyway. Yeah, um, have a clue. For, for some figures, I'm sure Luke will bring what happened yeah. Figures, you, Luke. <laughs> yeah, they're Moving nice. On. I, I like the one in the middle. So, uh, mm -hmm. uh, Special Forces Afghan Insurgency. Hmm. Brings back memories when there was a pillar behind me. A pardon? Brings back memories when there was a top that was walking behind me. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. Did you yeah, I like that. Anyway, there's a conversation for later. <laughs> 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 Moving on. Uh, AZ models uh, in 172 are doing an EF128C, which is oh, a wow. Luftwaffe of 1946. Uh, this top boxing here with the little eagle down the side, I must say, it's a great looking little plane. Do it for it, Cal. God's sake. And and then AZ not models not build, uh, release it. <laughs> um, but a uh, good little call if, kit if you want something a bit different to build. Hannant's £16.50, 18 euros, 20 dollars. Um, it's still going to be quite a nice size because it's a twin seater. So I'd imagine that's still going to be a nice little size kit. Just cool. Yep, very nice little size, little kit. Uh, something in Norm, I spotted this and thought, this is one of Norm type of kit. It's not yeah. it's not Norm type scale, but it's Japanese and it's weird. And I thought, is that resin? Um, for the price, I imagine it will be. Mm. Mm. That is damn expensive. Uh, 
the special uh, special attack aircraft. I don't know what's special about it other than that it looks really weird. Um, I, I don't know what this thing is up here. Have you ever heard of it? It's got a Vickers gun on the top, hasn't it? I don't know. It's got to be a weapon. It's got to be a weapon. It's got to, got to be a weapon. That's a Maxim. <laughs> um, Norm, have, Norm, have you ever heard of this thing? No, mate, I haven't. No. Uh, uh, this picture down here has got a bomb strapped underneath. So it looks like an early version of a Stuka type plane. Might be late World War One, early World War Two. Oh, yes, possible, possible. I should be never, never seen that. I thought more Norm. I saw that and thought of Norm. Weird and a bit or special. Is that what made you think of Norm? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I thought, oh, likes Japanese things. Oh, yeah. oh, son of a swine bag. <laughs> no, Norm's all right. No, I've just poured some liquids all over uh, all over what me yeah. and in a drawer that i couldn't afford them in and yeah What's... bad things bad things are going to happen to moist things you know wait until later on they're off i know bad things are going to happen to moist things very strange very strange okay very. um um to me releasing a 135 uh japanese ground defense force lav Light armored vehicle with the guy car shattered. Now, I'm pretty sure this was released ages ago, but it's only, only just coming to hands. Uh, 35 pounds, 39, pounds, 43. Not bad looking, little That's cool. yeah, not bad looking, little Humvee. Uh, ICM are doing a different oh. of their MiG 25, and that's a great looking plane. That one, that's a good looking scheme, yeah, yeah. yeah. like that. Uh, this is the very first attempt of the ICM to release the ICM uh, MiG 25 BM plastic model kit. So I'm not sure what the BM stands for. Bow movement. MiG 25 Accurate copy of prototype, highly detailed chassis, armament, and cockpit interior. Three version decals included. Yeah, good looking plane that. Uh, that is a big know. plane and a big kit. Um, valuable hands. This is for pre order 30, 41 pound 39, 47 euros, 50 dollars on that one. Well, I'd say you could probably have a bowel movement when you open the throttle. Yeah, that, that is a ferociously fast plane, absolutely ferocious. Very cool. Uh, Hasigal, I've got 135 loader coming out. Oh, chunk, you like this one? Yeah, this is a bad yeah. Yeah, uh, it's from Hanacts. Han Han Right. Hang on a second. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. That I can correct my spelling while we're going. Uh, yeah, not cheap though. Fifty-five kids, sixty-two euros, sixty-eight dollars on that one. Cool. Not cheap, but cool looking. Um, another weird one from Iceland. Well, not really weird one. <laughs> Yeah, weird. Um, the ICM 124 London Taxi. Cool. Now, if you've ever built uh, Revel's old black cab taxi, this would probably be something quite nice to actually sit next week, just to show from then till now. Uh, Hamlet's, this will be a future release, £23.40, €26.29 on that. Very cool. Uh, from Mini Art, they're bringing out the Continental R975 engine, which is the radio engine that went in the back of the Shermans and the Lees and all the other uh, Sherman based oh, well, well, well. Pr Pretty much anything American either had this or two V8 in it. And most of the time, things, it just ran on it. it. They could put any sort of petrol in it and it ran on it, which was pretty good. Nice display piece out for a tile. Yeah. Exactly, perfect for that. Now, we've got some MIG boxes on this one. Now, I'm going to put it out there that they haven't really thought about the name of this box. Mm -hmm. Right? It's the German solution box. Now, we know yeah. what the outcome was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I just saw it. It's a, it's a German late war solution box, and the 
that was something that's really bad last time. Why they why they named it that? That's terrible. That's a terrible choice. Just be glad they've not put any aerosols in there. Well, yeah, there's 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 probably some smelly stuff. So in the box, you get a box. I'm sorry, you get a box. Yes, you do get a box. You get a couple of their oil brushes. Uh, you get some of the one shot primer, you get some big filters. You get some of their paints, you get some of their washes, you get some of their varnishes, and you get two brushes and in a book. So save your money, buy a book, and buy all the stuff you need for all your other things. Yeah, um, 80 quid. Wow. 80 quid for that. Jeez. Now, and UMP gets grief for the stuff we bring out. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you, if you buy, if you, if I, I was thinking, maybe you get the kit with it. No, you no. should do. You, you should, I think, for that price, you should get the, you should be getting the kit with it. You know that. Well, the, um, I don't know if you got a slide on it, Tim, but they, they also released a paint shaker. Oh, really? Yeah, it's it's exactly the same as one you can get for nail varnish for like 20 quid. Oh. Just for a sticker on it? Yeah, they've literally put a sticker on it. Oh, is that what it's done? Yeah. But no one has to say anything. No, don't, don't, talk, don't say anything, Paul. It's not, it's not no, worth it. I don't know yourself. I, 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 okay. Yeah. Nobody else will, though. But I haven't heard we, we brand a really well known and useful primer yeah uh another one that's going to be there bringing out they're actually doing a whole range of these i just uh, these are the first two that came along so i thought from one there uh the other solution box is the imperial galactic uh fighters now i was looking at that box thinking this isn't bad 70 quid you get a few fighters in there you get some paint and then i'm realizing you don't get this stuff with it in the book is painting these three is these four aircraft I thought maybe you get dinky little models of each one so you can use this lot to paint. No. Yeah, like, I mean, even like the little cheap Ravel ones. Yeah, that's what I thought. No. No. You get this stuff here. Oh, three brushes this time. Uh, Ooh. 70 pounds, 87 euros, 86 dollars. Honestly, that's, that's making, that is printing money in box form. That's that's daylight robbery. It is. It's not. It's not good quality. It's good. No, it's not. Say it's good quality. It's not good spending advice for your money. You could get a lot more stuff for your seventy quid spent simply by going to e models or UMP and just buying buying the stuff you actually need. Yeah, just yeah. buy what you need. Yeah. You don't. You most of the time half this stuff you already got. Mm. Somebody yeah, about rough. Quick rough workout on the prices of the individual products. I think it works out you're getting the hook for nothing. But still. <laughs> 70 quid. Yeah, I mean, if you think each, each of the washes are then only what, six quid a pot? The paints are well, getting on for three. So if, if, if it's saying on that one, you're getting each bit of that. Of these bits here for three pound fifty, yeah, and then yeah, you're getting the book for free. Wow, yeah, it's just <laughs> it's just the price of what they are. You're not making, you're not saving anything. No, no, yeah. If you've got, if you've got absolutely, if you want to buy it, you'll buy it. Yeah, <laughs> if you've got absolutely nothing and you want to go out, and you want to buy some Bandai kits and paint them. That's not a bad solution. But if you're already out there and you're not out, then not then these these unfortunately these boxes are not for you. And uh, uh <laughs> the end of the show. Uh, I will kill you. Uh, <laughs> I will take you. Take you. Oh, That's um super duper fabulous. I like the bow tie. Yeah. Nice you, got you got a dicky around your neck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> before he became a Cenobite. <laughs> <laughs> he likes to ride bikes. Huh. Interesting. Oh, dear. Nice one, Tim. Yeah, Actually, well, I found um, a, well done, Tim. Well found done. information about that aircraft, the Japanese one. Oh, yeah, yeah, go on. Designed late 4435. It was oh, used okay. as a suicide aircraft because Japanese industry was so decimated by American bombings. That it was actually built in little sections it had folding wings that bit on the top was actually the water for the to cool the engine oh wow oh, my <laughs> God. 
Yeah. Wow. Uh, it was only three produced and one crushed on take off. <laughs> <laughs> well, he lived up to his name. Yeah. Yeah. But that's what the design that's was. Gap. Gap. Boom and blew up the other two, yeah. <laughs> it was basically a stopgap to, you know, to throw the Americans off. Yeah. So it was you with anything, tissue paper. Wow. Really? Yeah. Jeez. <clears throat> I would well done, Tim, for getting through that. Yeah. Well done, Tim, yeah. Okay, so we just keep the way of getting Dan to share his bit and we're sorted. Oh, yes. We'll work on that. Yeah, we will. Meanwhile. Oh, no, that was actually the fuel tank on top. Ah. Nice in your face, that blows up. Yeah. <laughs> the engine mount was made of metal with a fuel tank placed on top of the engine. Wow. Just using gravity feed system. Wow. <laughs> oh, well. Well, spoiler day. Uh, a lot. <laughs> uh, Daryl says, when you tell your daughter not to talk to strangers, you hold up that photo. <laughs> 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 oh, dear. Yeah. Silent Fart would say that's going to give him nightmares. Yeah. What kit is the Phantom, please? It's a Phantom. Phantom? Yeah. Norm. Phantom's Phantom I'm going with. I don't know. What Phantom? Yeah, I think it might be this one. This is actually the Zuki Mora 148 yeah. scale Phantom. I know this well. Yeah. It, well, there's... <laughs> it, it's in a box well. Yeah. Uh, Bit of a gap there, like, but you know, not picking on Norm, leave him alone. Yeah, I'm not ready for me box yet. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> so many jokes. <laughs> I've got me plot though. Oh, good, <laughs> I've got mine on the stairs, a black plastic bag. <laughs> I'd love to follow John trying to lean back to have a smoke. He's struggling at my power. Literally oh, just a cigarette out of shot. He's <laughs> 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 choking it out the corner of his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor John. We have thought he fell off the back of his chair. Yeah. Yeah, if you suddenly see my feet, something's gone badly wrong. <laughs> <laughs> We're hairy toes. Oh, I've got socks on tonight. We're safe. Oh, cool. Yeah, all sex in each food. Yeah. Web. Yeah. Well, technically two toes. They're hooves. <laughs> well, we'll not argue with that. All I can see is that the thing is I'll laugh his head off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, here you go. We're going to see. <laughs> Why does this camera have to be much wider angle than the old one? <laughs> It'd be good on chat roulette, though, John. The extra detail will help be able to pick up smaller things. You can zoom it in, John. Yeah, zoom it in a bit. Yeah. Yeah, that's, no, that's, that's totally good. Cool. Yeah. I have to figure that out. Yeah. Good question by Daryl there in the chat. Yeah, he says, uh, when you guys move from one product to another, be it a paint, a varnish, or whatever, do you still keep or use the old one? If I've got a, if I've got a use for it, yeah. If not, no. Yeah. Uh, I think if you're replacing a product because you found something better, then no, yeah. I don't keep it. Yeah, uh, um, I avoid this question. Well, <laughs> it's like I said before, you know, there's products I used to use years ago that were unbeatable and they've just been superseded by newer stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's just mm -hmm. the way it is. Me and Lee were talking about this today, and he's like, No, no, I love that. And I was like, Mate, I use metallics all the time, they've been superseded by newer products. Trust me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it, it's just one of those things, but yeah, if I can think of a use, I've got products that I've used, loved, don't use, I still keep it thinking, well, I know that's a slightly different color or a different tone, and I can use it if I need it. Yeah, or you get a slightly different effect. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> See, I've got a two full 
sets of the old uh, UMP washers and the new UMP. Yeah, because the different, yeah, the different colours. Yes. Yeah. I was very lucky in that regard because yeah, I it's just give me a big massive scope of clay washers. Yeah. Exactly. Not that old, uh, oh yes. I'm not greedy, but you know, I've got plenty of everything. So I heard. <laughs> it's everywhere. No, I've still got about two minutes in the Well, I'm quite pleased with my efforts tonight. Good man. Well, I'm glad you got your apple sorted out. I'm delighted it's all fixed. I'm gutted that uh, or, uh, the hangar, I don't want to say what I'm going to say, but. We can't control that bit, you know. No. Yeah, that was always going to be so low, wasn't it? Yeah. Fix one thing and another thing breaks. Yeah. Right, gonna take. Take back it. <laughs> Wish me already, did you? I did some. Yeah. Uh, Shadowland saying uh, Valaya Airbrush Center is good for fixing pigments. Um. Mm. I mean, so, so is UMP as well. Yeah, I was just about to say what's wrong with UMP. Yeah, it works perfect as well. Yep. And Aries Starine's efforts tonight are about to begin. I oh, don't cool. think we need to know that. And Roger down apparently saw his feet for the first time. Whoa. It was only because he was laying down. I was going to say, somebody stuck a picture on him. <laughs> <laughs> I thought either that or he did lean back in the chair too fast. Yeah. Like Chunk. Chunk wouldn't do nothing like that. No, he didn't do nothing I like that this morning. <laughs> Ended up in the end up in the head in the spray booth. Oh. <laughs> it happens. Yeah. All right, Jadan, you've obviously not seen my photo of Future and Vallejo Primer. Because that's all in the bin. Uh, Drew is asking what's the best leopard main battle tank kit out there right now? Uh, doing May Meng do one, don't they? Yeah, Meng. I would have thought it would be Meng or um, Amusing I'm Rifle. Or someone do one like that? Uh, I'm not sure, John. I think Amusing Rifle, think or, or is it Board Arby do one? I'm not sure, mate. But I've, I've not seen one built, so I'd go with the Meng. Uh, Michael Mitchell saying if Roger Dan saw his feet for the first time, we in for an early winter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something like that. <clears throat> Ow. Mm. Daryl Masters is going to buy some UMP thinner and cleaner. He did want an Apex, but none in stock at the time. Hopefully, he'll get a Halloween version when he puts the order in. Nice one. And uh, Matt, mm -hmm. you need to go watch my videos, mate. I use Lacquer over UMP Primer all the time. Yep. Splash, Zero, Tammy TS. All my build videos and ISM on this channel, Matt. Sure. I've, just used, the UMP. I've just used an enamel paint. Uh, thinned with Mr. Level and Thinner over UMP Primer. And that's a proper concoction. Yep, I've used all sorts over it. 
Uh, there we go. Bill's got it. The Ming A7 is the best. The Border A5 and A6. Then come the Hobby Boss. Then the Rebel. Ah. Yes, the hobby bots will go together well. I mean, it's just down to whether and how accurate it actually is. Yeah, yeah, it'll go together fine. Who's afraid of the big black bat? Me? <laughs> Me. Have you danced with the devil in the pale moonlight? Trying on silently. I'd be fine. No, Michael, his dark knights are afraid of me. <laughs> yeah. Back in five minutes, guys. Okay. Norm needs a poo. <laughs> ah, saying good night, the grandkids. Ah, and then he's going to have a poo. At least he's going to try There'll be a poo involved. <laughs> There's always a poo involved. Always. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, Dan says he has a hard time throwing away usable products he spent good money on. Oh, um, there is that, but when you get something that is noticeably better, yeah. you're not going to go back to the old one unless you run out and you desperately need it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, and the thing is, once you found something better that you're using all the time, all these products have a shelf life anyway. Of course yeah. they do. So, you know, it's sitting on your shelf for two, three years. It's no good at the end of that anyway. In my humble opinion. Uh, your humble opinion. <laughs> okay. um, yeah, Matt D is saying, Paul, he finally received his orders. They must have got held up in customs. Cool. Thanks, and you can't wait to use the new Apexes. Excellent. Happy day. Very starring. Asking, has anyone seen more than CAD drawings of the Ryfield MATV? No. And Sam says, will you do the GB of the Ferrari along with we get? What Ferrari? Oh. It was a McLaren, right? Eh? McLaren and a pickup on, Simon. All right. So Daryl says, you guys all have stashes. What would you say percentages of going to build, hope to build, and will never build? All of mine are going to be 100% will build. Mine are yeah. aimed to be built, but I'd probably say 70. Mine, I would say, I plan to build all of them, and it's a retirement plan. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I need 80% for me. Well, I, I plan yeah. to build all of them if I'm alive enough to build them all, we shall see. Yeah. If I haven't sold them by then. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've got, a, I've got a couple up there that I probably won't build, but other than that, I'll build everything. What are we talking about? Uh, uh, I don't get Norman started on that. Thousands of kids. Stash is not building here. Yeah. I'll normal build it. He'll just not paint it. Uh, I box him. He's got to put him back in the box. Tell you what, 
what it is is Norm uses kits as insulation. <laughs> no, that's Lee. It's, it's stop the roof from sagging, mate. Uh, <laughs> Except the seat is sagging out. Yeah, it's like Shadowlands saying he's got humble enamels that are 40 plus years old. And oh, he's still right. using them. Cool. That's because that's when they were good. I was just about to say that, yeah. yeah, that back then they weren't bad. But nowadays they're just pants. I've got about 200 tins of them in the drawer here. <laughs> Are they just holding paper down, Norm? <laughs> Stop me, Ben. <laughs> Hilton, mate. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think the thing with a stash as well, for, well, my opinion. So, as you as you develop as a modeler, your kind of taste change so for example when i first started all of my aircraft was 70 second scale i'll probably never ever build a 70 second scale aircraft again so i had loads of them and i just moved them on and replaced them with 48 or you know and now i've got 30 second scale kits and you know so i think you, your taste changes you can move your stash on and, and then replenish it with kits that are more to what you're building at the time really mm. And it's nice to go back to get an old kit that you built years ago and rebuild it. What do you think, Tim? Just about to do with this Land Rover. <laughs> what do you think, Tim? I, I, I wish... Uh, you need to get... Oh, there you are. Yeah, right. I wish I could get to the point. Oh, you've got a massive delay. Um, massive delay, mate. I mean, yeah. he's really Oh, now I'm muted. There we go. Yeah, no, no. Working? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, wait, wait. Oh, in. oh. my stash. <laughs> I've, got, I've got far too much. I know that. Am I ever going to build it all? No. <laughs> you gotta be, got be very honest with yourself. Nah, nah. True. There's very little, very, very little chance I'm ever gonna build all of my stash. But I like to have it there because I can pick and choose what I want to do. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So and and yeah. I will quite happily admit I'm just as much a collector as I am a builder. And probably even uh, I'm probably collecting is just as bad it is probably worse of a habit than uh building them i'll totally admit that <laughs> yeah. we're down a fiver hey we're down a fiver fine fiver fine yeah for what slapping who me no we're drinking tim tim slept his drink we're drinking a fiver fine definitely you reckon Tim's in charge. Yeah, Dan's in charge. Tim, he's throwing me under the bus. Oh, is, that, is Dan in charge tonight? Could be worse. Could be out. Yeah, what do you reckon, Tenna? Oh, no, 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 no. Hang on a second. Fifty p. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, 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 your cup getting a bit low as well. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> that be <a> yes. Ah, <laughs> no, 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 no. But we're, we're fine for another ten minutes yet. Five. Aries Starin says, "Got a question for the dire builders? How do you know when to stop? Well, when you're finished." Bios <laughs> <laughs> yeah. are like living things; they never stop. You know, I'm gonna say I've done I've done two big ones, and I probably could I can add four, bucket, three bucket, later. Bucket falls, Dan. Say again. Bucket falls. You know, oh, yeah. bucket falls. Yeah. Wow. I think if it's if it's a big enough dio, it probably never stops. No, because you you look at it. You'll go away from it maybe for a year, come back to it and go, I could add that to it. 
Well, every time I go to loft, I've got two big ones in loft, and every time I go in, I look at him, I think, well, if I dusted that off, I could add just a little bit more in that corner, and some, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and I never do. When you're doing the dio, spin it. Spin it around. Yes. Stop looking at it from really the Really fast. Spin really it around. Really fast. Eh? Hey? Yeah. Every... Spin it on a turntable really fast. I was going to say, put it on a turntable at 17. <laughs> Yeah, I'll try to three is there. If that don't work, 45. <laughs> and if in doubt, add a squash wrap. Yeah. And a chicken and tree. Yeah. <laughs> or a cat. Yeah, or a cat. That'd be fun. Add some crack. And if it's a cat in a hat, <laughs> I'm the winner. <laughs> uh, that, there's Oscar Railwine modeler, it's never going to stop. <laughs> nobody speaks to railway modelers, I do. Like. <laughs> I go by timetables. Yeah, you're weird. Mm, I have to lose on the whole railway thing. Hey, eh? so there's a show on Channel Five. Oh yeah, the yeah. Great railway crimes or something. Yeah. Well, where I work, there's probably about eight of us that are modelers. One of them is a rail railway modeler, the rest are all scale modelers. You, you shun well. him and make him sit in the toilets on his own. <laughs> but <laughs> one of the scale modelers has applied to the show for us to form a team. Oh, <laughs> to go on the show. And it looks like it's going to happen. Yes! <laughs> yeah, so really? we'll be building the railway. That'd be, <laughs> cool. That'd be really cool. Well, we'll see. No, 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 that is going to be really cool. you got to go... I'll go Fodor, Thomas the Tank Engine. You, you've got to shun. You, 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 you've got to make the whole of the model railway community stop and go, okay, we're doing it wrong. This is how yeah. we should be doing it. Yeah. We do it all in different scales. Tracks, one is by the other, so different trains go around. Yeah. And they all go in reverse. They, they love it. They love it. No timetable. And then they all hit each other. You, 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 you could set up a massive crash in the corner. Oh, yeah. Dera the derailment's die Yeah. <laughs> Have a ramp in the middle. That would work. <laughs> Trains can jump way on them out. What, to make it go fast enough? <laughs> No, I used to a kid. That's pretty much all I ever did with my train set. Get it lined up so it jumped properly. <laughs> yeah, that green stuff you're on about, <laughs> filling red. Is that the Citadel stuff? Oh, it's no, the, the squadron. squadron. Squadron Green, yeah. <clears throat> that one. It's the okay. stuff that Al's. Yeah, and that what Al's got in his hand. Yeah, he sniffs it. The one that basically everyone but you's got in their hand. <laughs> well, I do with mine, Luke. I keep mine in. I keep mine in. Your bedroom drawer? In a Tamiya pot, look, that's already pre thinned. Yeah. And then obviously it's quite thick in there. So I've got obviously the UMP little blue caps out of the thinner and cleaner. Yeah. I'll, always, I'll dump a bit in there and, you know, thin it down as an. As I was going thinner. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm even saying bridge on the river Kwai Dio. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. I think we, they give you the theme though. Yeah, so we've seen one and done from scratch in 48 uh, <laughs> hours. Really? Spectacular. Yeah. I really, I really hope you're going to be on TV making models, Luke. Yeah. <laughs> you imagine. <laughs> I'm imagining, and I'm thinking, Oscar's Oscar is what's going to be. What's the TV version of an Oscar? Yeah, uh, Bat 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 Dicky Bow on. I wouldn't gonna say Dicky Bow because everyone would take it as wrong. Yeah, <laughs> Luke loves a Dicky. Exactly. 
But all on a Friday. <laughs> oh, no, it's Friday. <laughs> um, <laughs> hang on, John's yeah. back. It's fine. It's a bit of a weird jump, then. It were, it were a weird transition, that was. Yeah, wasn't it? Yeah. Poor chunk. <laughs> actually, <laughs> actually, the chunk's a perfect person to talk to about railway modern. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just, just not now. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do it of a private message in there? Yeah, private messages. Yeah, PM you? it. Yeah. If, if anyone wants any information of how to build a <laughs> brilliant, <laughs> brilliant scale model railway diorama, Clinton yeah. is your uh, man yeah. to go to. <laughs> wrong. Yeah. He's the dad who the wants the railways, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. 20, 25 years ago. He's, he's the big daddy. That's what he is. The big daddy. Yeah. He's a man. I grew, yeah. I grew wiser. I stopped doing that. That's what I was going to ask him. What are the seam lines like on that? Yeah. Very entertaining. What do you think I'm doing at the moment? <laughs> yeah. There's a fair few of them need a bit of a, need a, bit of a sorting out. That's going to be fun to paint as well, isn't it? I was thinking that. I was saying the other day, the, the dip technique would be brilliant for this one. Dip? Yeah, the dip. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Big, big, big. Pot of paint and just dip it all in it when it's built. <laughs> just, just shake it off. <laughs> dip it in and shake it off. Yeah, yeah they are, isn't it? Dip and shake. Wow, too easy. Too easy. <laughs> I'll aim out down, you knock them. <laughs> so, Matt saying he's planning on building a dio for his egg plane build. What's the best way to make asphalt runway material? Wet and dry paper. No, yes. Uh, yeah, pretty correct. much what is said. Wet and dry and spray it with a matte coat. Yeah, that's it. And if you want to put flat spots on the wheels, just run it back and forwards across it a few times. And get skid marks. Yeah. What to do with me? I said skid marks. I'm sorry, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, who said skid marks? Your old brain kicked in there. Who said skid marks? <laughs> Al. Me? Uh, Al. Me. Down. I'll leave a mark. Go on, blame me. Blame me. Skiddy. Skiddy. <laughs> yeah. in there. Bloody children, you look. Yeah. Yeah. He's just arrived in the chat. Who is? Guy, the crazy Belgian. Ah, bon ah, bon hey, bon 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 Munch two. Munch two. <laughs> Munch, mange, same difference. <laughs> A mange too. I don't have the mange anymore. I've no hair. Oh. No, it's back to your day. You can still get mange without having a hair. <sighs> Just wondering that. Oh, that's that's criminal. Get the pretty Crabs. I like brewing beer. <laughs> Ginger? <clears throat> no. Young Sam used to brew beer until it nearly killed him. <laughs> Daryl saying hi, Poirot. <laughs> Simon saying all right, Del Boy. All right, laugh. All right. He's had the same room for 18 years. So it's uh, seven yeah. and eight different heads. Pretty sure he'd use a rasp file to actually sand this down the first time around. An angle grinder. It's something like that. It's... An angel grinder. An angel grinder. 
<laughs> That's a completely different website. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Riley's right, right, a Makita watches them. That's an app. <laughs> oh. Right, I'm going to sleep. See you later, boys. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Me too. Uh, Tony is asking, Dan, when are you going to move to your new cave? When it's finished. <laughs> what, you not too far off now, is it, Dan? Uh, well, I messaged a place last week in the hope that I could get some work top for the weekend, and it's allegedly the cheapest place in the city of Nottingham, and it's the dearest place that I've ever known. For, for the Bogo standard white work top, 28 mil, three meter long, guess how much? 100 quid. And a quarter? Yes. That's crazy, man. And, and, I wanted three of those, and on top of that, they want 20 quid per length for delivery. For work top? Yep. What? So, yeah, I'm not having them from there. <clears throat> Don't get me wrong, I don't want to be tight. I've got the money that's to spend. I think that's just a ridiculous amount for work. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If B&Q had got it in, it's 52 quid. But B&Q ain't got none in stock at the minute. Yeah, you still got other bits you can get on with, though, haven't you? So. Yeah, loads. Loads. <laughs> so, so that other company that you found then was no good in the end? Yes, there was um, 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 Bandits. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Careful, uh. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a little spidey sense going off there when Tim was <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Paul, Paul, we're a bit drowsy a minute going into. I'm into knackered. That. I am absolutely knackered today. Yeah, well, I'm cream crackered. I'll up at, uh, my eyes are heavy. Seriously, my eyes are like. I've done nothing all day. I were up at quarter past five this morning. Way. No, you had a lot in. Yeah. yeah, I was here until quarter half three. I'm going to say it was still pitch black, and I was still, I think, what time did I leave the house? I left the house at quarter past six. So it's still pitch black. <laughs> and it was still pitch black. Yeah. <laughs> and yes, I did wake people up this morning being really, really noisy, but, you know, we you that, wouldn't do that. We stacked out that busy that we are having to do. Live streaming is on. Is on. Hey, baby. I think it's on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've got one of those Boba Fetts. Oh. Yes. Yes, I've got one of those Boba Fetts too. It, yeah. I mean, I don't know whether it's any good or not because I've never done one. I'm going to say yes. Um, yes, I got mine from the same place on Flea Bay, I think. And yes, yeah. it, it does turn into a decent bust. I've got mine in the garage covered in about half inch of sawdust. Right. <laughs> okay. It's not that I don't like him. It's just that I've got nowhere else to put them all. And they're all covered in sawdust. And I went <laughs> the other day with Henry the Hoover. And yeah. uh, they've been hard. <laughs> But yeah, they, need, they do need. Yeah, it does polish up into a really nice turd. I think, I've got, one, I think I've got one of them. Yeah, you have somewhere. I have Hannah bought yep. them ages ago. Yeah, from from the same place on Flea Bay. They do a, a, a decent Iron Man as well, that size too, Luke. Do they? Yeah, in both of the And I've got a. It looks like um, Warhammer Forty K Space Wolf. Yes. Or whatever with a big beard. Yeah. The, 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 um, the wolf's shoulder pad. and So, yeah, I've got two of them just to have a go, really. Yeah, they are, I, I did mine wait, last year or year before. Uh, oh, I want to say last year, but it might be year before knowing me. But I think I did. I did Boba Fett. I did two Iron Men and something else that I can't remember. Remember, pardon me. Um... No, I can't remember. I did not be on the phone. 
because I've had a new phone since there. And I'm not going outside because it's outside. Oh, come <laughs> on. Oh, yeah. No commitment. No commitment. You know it. I'm old and me legs are tired. <laughs> probably yeah, can I just say a minute, Dan, you're looking like a cross between Valentino Rossi. Oh, can you say that? Hang oh. on, hang on, I haven't finished yet. I haven't insulted <laughs> Adley Evans. <laughs> <laughs> it's the hair. The hair well, is about, do you know what? Yeah. One of one of my mates, he tells me every time he calls me Valentino. Yeah. He reckons I am the spitting image of Valentino, and I can't see it myself. But when your hair is shorter, you definitely do look like you. Definitely are done. Yeah. yeah. But he, he's always said that. And the first thing, when he first introduced me to his missus, we put scaffold up on his new ass. And he went, Jen, come here. Who does he look like? And she even said Valentino Rossi. Mm. Anyway, there you go. Yeah, it's, I don't know whether I don't think Mel Gibson personally. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking Dirk Diggler in the What? I'm thinking I look like Dirk Diggler. Are you older than Valentino? Are you the Sam? Dirk Diggler. Dan. Yeah, are you older than Valentino? Yeah, aren't you? Am I older than him? Yeah. Uh, You're about the same age, aren't you? About the same age, I believe. Forty-one. I'm 41, 42. I'm going to say assume for copyright laws. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And if you don't know who Dewey Diggler is, just Google it, people of the interweb. Yeah, yeah, just Google Boogie Nights. Yeah, you'll be entertained. You'll be entertained for a few minutes. Well, then, then Google Roll Girl. <laughs> <laughs> There's a new name for you from Simon P. Danantino. <coughs> Uh, yeah. I was going to go with Lieutenant Don. <laughs> <laughs> I've been called many things in my life, and I really don't care. I'll answer to them all. Quite right. You ever get ID'd in the shop, Don? Do you know what, Sam? I haven't been ID'd for about 10 years, yet my missus says I'm 42, she's 46 in a couple of weeks. And she, uh, So what's that? She's uh, four years older than me, and she got ID'd, not last week, the week before. Yep. I have a mate, 42, he's a chef, and he got ID'd twice in the one, one night. <laughs> he looks about 16, seriously. Yeah. Right. He's like, can we can eat anything and put on no weight, you know? I might be 42... But I feel like I'm 142. Yeah, we all get days like that, buddy. Oh, mine have been constant for the last six months, I think. Yeah. But I I don't cry at work in front of the lads. I'll make sure I do that all at home. In front oh, of you. Uh, yeah. Just wear it at work. <laughs> that nearly cost me 20 quid. <laughs> yeah. When I'm at work, I'm a machine. And I just power on through. I don't cry about it. I just get stuck in, do it. And yeah, we've got a young kid, he's 18, and I'm twice his age, literally, and I can run rings around him for six hours. I'm not telling him the end of that six hours that I want to cry and curl up in a corner, but yeah. I yeah I'm not sure your weakness. Yeah. You're going to go home and have your tea and just die for the rest of the day. You cannot yeah. show weakness scaffolding, you just cannot. Unless, unless your arm's hanging off or your leg's hanging off, yeah, you can't just moan and bitch about it because you'll just be the butt of all jokes. Unless you're a bricklayer. And then, or maybe a joiner. In fact, no, painter. Painter's at worst. Because I think, uh, wow, I nearly went down a dark hole then with that. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> move on. Yeah, I think most of us knew where you were going with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was ahead of you. Yeah. If you work on a building site, you know where that probably going. <laughs> <coughs> I don't look nothing like you, Dan. <laughs> I, I've I've never been in uh, Toy Story or Jurassic Park. <laughs> well, you were one of the kids, weren't you? Or we're going to get some dodgy territory here. That's a young lad that Jurassic Park that was in there. Uh, what do you call it? The one with Queen? Bohemian Rhapsody? The film? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He was also, um, in Pacific, weren't he? Yeah. 
Norm, who do you play? Freddie. <laughs> no, really? uh, no, no. The, uh, which one did you play? The bass guitarist, who was that? Oh, oh John uh, Yeah. yeah. He played him. He's the, he's the young lad of Jurassic Park. Is it really? Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that. I think I've watched that film about four or five times now. That's a damn, oh, damn, oh, damn good film. Damn good film. It really is. Oh. Superb. Yeah. So I bought it on DVD for us all to watch, and then I've just not had time to watch it. Oh, right, Dan, watch it, man. I yeah. bought it as well. It's, it's brilliant. brilliant. I've got time to watch uh, John Wick 3, though, because that's an awesome film. If you like Queen, you love that film. I do like Queen. I've got about seven of their albums in car for long road trips. Yeah. Uh, i tell you what I did watch today. That new Gemini, man, I wasn't that fussed, to be honest. I'll, no. I want to go and watch that new Joker. That looks good. And Rachel went to see it today. That oh, looks good. Sorry. And I'd like to watch, weirdly, I know it sounds weird, but... Uh, that one with Brad Pitt, uh, Ad Astra, is it called? Yeah, I want to see that. Yeah, that looks quite yeah. interesting. I started uh, to watch it. But there's there's nothing really at the minute out at the pictures, weirdly. I watched that. Hey? Might go and see Joker on Sunday. Yeah, Joker looks good. Well, I don't know whether to go before I go on holiday and watch it or wait until I come back and watch it. Oh, no. Are you away for the week, just Dan? Uh, I'm away Thursday till Friday, I do believe. Right. Well, for the day. <laughs> oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a 5,000 mile round trip just for the day. It's like nipping to seaside, isn't it? <laughs> I'm sure you got to a model shop on the way, mate. Yeah, yeah. See, if I had my way, I'd move out there, but you can only get seven days off of work, so. <laughs> Sadly, that's what we're going for this time. Well, so don't forget to post on Facebook. I'm going to blah, blah, blah. Does anyone know a good model shop? Oh, I don't do that. Once I'm, <laughs> once I'm in that airport, modelling what? Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm there to relax and forget about everything. Work, modelling, yeah. everything. Well, maybe, yeah, including kids. News speech. Yeah. Um, Rancy Dan's asking about Toy Story. I think Rancy Dan's about two hours behind you. Yeah, <laughs> Do you want to explain that one, Dan? You have an uncanny resemblance to Al from Al's Toy Barn. Yay! Sometimes the slowest films are the best films to watch, weirdly. It means the intelligence of thought art, in my opinion, anyway. Oh, yeah. Um, I think one of the best films I've seen in years was Cinderella Man. See, I didn't, I didn't really get on with that. What's that about? I've not seen that. Boxing? Yeah. Superb film. I might need to revisit that one. Because I was, I was still smoking. Yeah, Stuff. things. A lot of tobacco. <laughs> I only ever tried a cigarette once when I was about eleven, and you choked to death. And I thought, bugger that. Am I still going to give away today? We have, haven't we? Uh, yeah. 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 So should we do that? Because I forgot all about that. Yeah, if you want. I'm going I'm going still watching. Hold on, just refresh. Oh, 104. Right. So we've got a £25 UP gift voucher, very kindly donated by Sam. So all you've got to do is wait to see John say post your numbers in the chat. The timer off Norm in a second. Um, you pick one number from one to a thousand, pop it in the chat after five minutes, do a live random number generator, and the closest person to that number wins. Simple as that. Simple as. Samples. Am I sharing? Yes. You are sharing. Well, here are the boys. When you're don't forget one number, one number only between one and a thousand, a twenty-five pound UMP gift voucher. We're ready. We're ready in three, 
two, one. Start your numbers. Go, go, go. Hey. Yeah. I've got a movie to watch tomorrow. I'll be watching The Mothman Prophecies. Is that the one with, uh, uh, what do you call him, Richard Gere? I believe so, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so. Should prove interesting because I've been watching some documentaries about the whole Mothman thing. Yeah, I've watched quite a few myself. Huh? I mean, they all that like crap, all that what's my okay. watching some stuff about sorry but irish cryptids yeah there was one about the bovar cool yep uh, that was quite interesting although whether that, that's, that's just a big otter <laughs> but, nothing about me and anyway <laughs> I watched that Hotel Mumbai today. Oh, Hotel Lakeburn. That was well, it's, it's good. I think it's good. good. Slow in places, but very, very good. Uh, yeah. Fresh. Well, I wanted to watch that one night. Yeah. yeah. Well, worth, yeah. well worth a watch. Yeah. I may watch that one. If you don't mind watching subtitles, there's a program called Dark on uh, Netflix, which is good. <laughs> And it's nothing about what Dan's thinking about. No, Although it is in German. I'm, I'm just looking at a comment that Paul made on Facebook. Oh. <laughs> three minutes, folks. You got three minutes. Oh yes, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> I just remembered what it was. Yeah, you know it. You know, definitely. And we can confidently say that because he never watches this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. Uh, Ryan Chidan is saying there's a trailer for a new Cats movie if you like things from the West End. Yes, seen it. Okay. Oh, yeah. um, I'm not feline. -y. I think it's feline. Hey. It. Isn't that the one with Taylor Swift in it? Oh, oh I might watch it then. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not watching it then. Might be worth watching for five minutes. No. Wow, John, that's some stammer there, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Christina Hendricks was in it, John, but I'll be watching it. Two minutes, folks. You got mm. just over two minutes. Yeah, Steve said he watched Aquaman the other day, and I've got to agree with uh, Dave. That was rubbish. Aquaman. Aquaman? Yeah. Aquaman. yeah. <laughs> Load of pish. Yes. It was, oh, it was over egged, I think. I tried that Ant Man, though. Ant Man's good. Ant Man's yeah, good. Right. Right. But to be fair, Ant Man and Aquaman, uh, one's Marvel and one's DC, so it's. Wonder Woman. I think I think Wonder Woman was good. I like Wonder Woman. I couldn't get into that. No, uh, I, well, I, I could, but I'm married. <laughs> no, I prefer the original one. <laughs> the, 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 oh, Linda Carter. Carter. Oh, that was it. Yeah. I'm I'm familiar with her body of work. Yeah, so <laughs> one minute, folks. You have one minute remaining. Uh, no, I've not read Cosmic Trigger, but I'll have to look it up. Trigger from only first? Mm, doubtful. <laughs> if someone's suggesting I watch it, it's not going to be something delicate and friendly. No. <laughs> 30 seconds, folks. you got 30 seconds. Well, I did watch or re-watch Hell's Reach today. That's awesome. Um, it's a fan made Warhammer 40,000. I watched that uh, Lincoln Lawyer the other night, Lion in Bed. I'd seen it before, but it was a good show. Yeah. Countdown will begin in three, 
two, one. Number stop. That's shown. Um, yeah. 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 Right, we're on random.org. We've got one to a thousand already put in there. As always, if two people pick the same number, the first person to pick it automatically wins. Anything you know is wrong, please don't shout out that these guys will check it and want to know the answer. Uh, John will read out the winner. So, the winner number four, the UMP 20. I've got connecting issues for you, Paul. Is it gone? Yep, you've gone. Yeah, you've gone, mate. Damn it. Mm. Oh. And you're back. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Click it quick. <laughs> I will do. You think there is one? Please don't say that because John will announce the winner. So, win number for the £25 UP gift voucher is 317. You sharing? No. 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 You are joking. How did you though? 317. Hang on. Hold on. Let's just try it on that screen instead. <coughs> bye bye. Yeah. 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 There's the number 317. Okay. You have to trust me on that one. Cool. Cool. Oh. There we go. Wait for these to uh, find the wiener. Any plans for tomorrow? Uh, no, I plan. yeah. no, I've been no. in the cave. Drank it. Be at the bench most of the day. Football. Oh, yeah. Get windows tinted on, Carl. Man. Oh, yeah? Yep. Nice. Where's that one, John? I've not seen that one. Uh, it is two below Gary Patrick. Yeah, no, I've got him now. I'm for. The farm, I think, tomorrow morning. Oh. Right. Come here, baby. Yeah, well, be back. Lunchtime will be here. James is off to a trampoline party tomorrow with Hannah. Oh, cool. So I've got to drop him off um, at a friend's house. I may go and get some more fish. Why not? May. And uh, I'll buy a and on the way back to pick oh, James up. Eh? Stop my A and E on the way back. Let's not even much. joke about that. Well, I know. <laughs> uh, it's just after eating all the food and then jumping on a trampoline. Oh, uh, uh, then I'll be, I'll be in here. Then I'm going to work on the um, escort. I think Hosworth. Yeah. Well, if you're about, I'll be here as well, mate. I'll join you. Oh, I might be busy now, actually. Yeah, well, I was waiting for that one. <laughs> 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 for me, it's more like you. <laughs> Um, yeah, so yeah, I need a few more fish, I think, for the uh, the tank. Oh, why? Yeah, I've got chores to do tomorrow, and oh, then I'll be doing my live show tomorrow evening. Mm. Yeah. Definitely be there to troll you this time. Uh -huh. yeah. What time? What's the live? Sure, huh? What is the live? What about fishies? Uh, fish, modelling, movies, music, weirdness, paranormal. When, when's that? Paranormal? Oh, what is uh, uh, paranormal? 7 o'clock on my channel, Dan. Ah. We'll be there, don't you worry. I'm going to, yeah. <laughs> can you, can you <laughs> be there? Should I be what time? 7 o'clock UK time. Oh, I shall be there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know paranormal's going to be there. Me, uh, 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 it's uh, 
Well, the thing is, uh, mainly fishy stuff, but... Well, till we get there. Yeah. <laughs> well, it would be really fishy. Um, but there are a lot of... Just qu just quickly, have we got a winner yet? Yeah. Uh, yes, well, we, we have. have. So. I don't mean to interrupt, I was just trying to keep Sorry. it... Uh... Yeah. Um, yeah. So the number we drew for Fram's wonderfully donated... 25 pound UMP gift card was 317 and the closest was MCC MX with 284. Ooh, well, there you go. Well, so uh, MCC XV Batman symbol apostrophe. Um, you need to PM me on the PM. No, you don't. You need to email me on the email address. In the yeah. description. I'm tired. You don't. You need to email me on the email in the description, which is uh, ismprize.gmail.com. With your, uh, you need a, an account on UMP Retail as well. So make sure you signed up there. I need your email address you're logged in with, and we'll uh, sort that out for you. Yep. So thank you very much, Sam. And thank yeah, you, you as well. Yeah, well done, Sam. I think we're going to call it night because I'm just about ready to fall asleep. Nice one, boys. Okay. Nice one, Sam. So, thanks everyone that's watched. Everyone that's joined in. These guys. We'll catch you all next week. Hopefully, we'll get rid of all these little foibles and niggles that we've got. Yeah, um, it'll be fine. It'll we'll be, be fine. up to full running power next week. So, see you then, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.